Paul, Colin Quinn just walked in, <laughs> and I'm now leading the show, and here it is. We're Ooh. back. You're leading the show. Leading, like leading us back in from break. I know. And it was pretty powerful the way I did that. It really was. And I, by the way, I, I was informed that while I didn't know Colin was here while I was doing my, my brilliant sports analysis break about Green Bay and Dallas, and apparently Colin was in the dressing room uh, not agreeing. Only, well, it wasn't that I disagreed. First of all, I grew up loving the Packers, you know, I was from New York. But second of all, just the fact that it takes a real amateur to go to spout a fact like, Dallas, Green Bay hasn't beaten them since 1989. It's not a fact that a real sports fan would even know. And I'm not even a real sports fan. I'm a half a fruit myself. <laughs> but I know phoniness when I hear it. How would you know that unless somebody handed you a paper? No one handed it to me. Are you a big sports? Do you watch football I, every Sunday? I saw that. Shut yeah, your mouth. I used to watch it. And the Cowboys stink and so do the Packers. And you I'm know, a Packers fan. They're both 10-1. They're 20 and 10 and one God. Against garbage. The Jets stink. I know the Jets stink. You can, you can pick a team that actually stinks. Jets, Jets. I like Eli Manning, and I'll tell you why. Because whether he throws eight interceptions or four touchdowns, he has the same attitude after the game. <laughs> it's so true. He's like, hey, dude, you know, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> and the fans are like, oh, kill you. He's like, what are you going to do? I'm Peyton's brother. That's exactly now, it. now what? Now what do you got for He's me? He's either like, they're I so mean, right. Even if How about some play, emotion out there? Even each play just stands there like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. I hate Eli. I hate the Giants. <laughs> Can't stand the Giants. Never liked the Giants. You know, I always hated the Giants, but with Eli, for some of them, they were always boring. Even when they won the Super Bowl, they were so boring. Phil Sims, he was just a boy. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. They, they hit the sand. When I was a kid, Joe Pasarczyk was the quarterback. He was just showing Joe losers. Pasarczyk. <laughs> Did they wear helmets back then? <laughs> it was just leather. Oh, yeah, just yeah, leather have, helmets? No face guards. <laughs> no face guards. <laughs> that Joe joking? Pasarczyk, <laughs> just to show what losers they were, there was in the magazines, they would have the shy man's guide to picking up girls with Joe Pasarczyk. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was the quarterback of the Giants. <laughs> oh. I swear to God. That's like Norton's nonsense in Stepping Out magazine. Yeah. <laughs> That you have your own column and step no, it out? No, no, no. It's like the Jackie the Joke Man joke. They put your face oh, in I your name and they pick, that. they pick an awful joke. And they Terrible. just, yeah, pick a joke. Yeah, you have nothing, nothing to do with it. it. No. Chauncey, no, no, Chauncey always picks your joke and, like, totally misquotes it. <laughs> oh, yeah, screw this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, you you check out MySpace broads there, Colin? No. No. My MySpace is a, is a, is a national disgrace. <laughs> is it really? My brother's supposed to be running it. Kids come up to me on the road. Which would you MySpace? They scream at me. I have, like, less friends. Uh, it's unbelievable. Can we see? You have, like, eight friends? Yeah, I have less friends than Keith Robinson. <laughs> that's, that's not good. <laughs> well, we got into this discussion that a lot of girls on MySpace, they uh, they look really hot. Right. And then you meet them. We got a bunch of guys that have met uh, some of these girls on MySpace, and they're just awful. They don't look anything like their pictures whatsoever. So we're talking about, like, MySpace voodoo, some of the things, like, girls do to make themselves look hot. And there's a whole website dedicated to girls that look hot uh, on their MySpace pages, but then the reality is that they're just hiding up a world of hurt. And they were able to do that, by the way. They tricked a lot of people. So they have their MySpace picture, and then they have a real picture of them just kind of hanging out. Right. Uh, literally hanging out all over the place. Yeah, a picture that they decide not to have on their MySpace page. Yeah. And it's, a, it's, it's quite different. You want to, like, uh, scroll down and show some of these to Colin there? Well, let me ask you something, not to yeah. immediately attack, but how is that any different than... Uh, Robert Kelly live, uh, MySpace. Oh, how Bob would even person. He's like 480. <laughs> <laughs> Is he using his old publicity shots? No. Oh, when he had hair and and abs. He just called me from the airport, dude. I just got in a fight with a Hindu. Some Indian guy behind him on the line at the airport is kicking him with his leg with some bag, and Bob turned around and almost hit him. <laughs> He's got to stop playing that video game. And the Hindu was probably worshipping him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a cow joke, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's very funny. <laughs> hey, uh, let's go to Casey in uh, Nevada. Casey, let's get this going. What do you got? How's it going, boy? Hey, Casey. I... Uh... I got a girlfriend, and she's not really a looker, but on one of her MySpace pictures, she's pretty cute. She's not a looker. <laughs> what does she do to make herself look cute if she's not a looker in person? She's on a boat, and I took a picture of her. Uh, she's on a boat. She's on a boat. Took she's, a picture. She's biting Robert Shaw in half. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, your phone's crapping out. Maybe you can call us back. Let's go to Baltimore. Let's drink to your girl. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Hey, Hi. Jason in Baltimore. What's up? Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, uh, I met a chick off MySpace. Um, should I not give her name out? Nah. Yeah, I'll give her name. No name. Never mind. All right. Um, she was cute, a um, little bit, not dumpy, but, you know, that sort of cute chubby. Yeah. Okay. Um, and she had stealth boobs, which, you know, if you, have you ever experienced this? No. No. It's, um, 
where the bra makes the boob instead of the boob, make, boob making the bra. Mm. Wait, the bra makes the boob instead of the boob making the bra. Gotcha. Exactly. Um, so she's cute and everything, and we get a little amorous. And uh, when she takes her clothes off, I swear to God, she looked like Patty. Well, See, Patty's um, a mess. Oh, yeah. You got a little amorous? Uh, yeah, I, I can't, you can't talk that way on regular radio. Yeah, I know, so that's a little. That might get up. dumped out of. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little crazy. We don't want any FCC uh, yeah. fines or anything. A little right. amorous. All right, yeah. Collins MySpace page is a national disgrace. It's terrible. It is horrible. The first is the picture of him and Jerry Seinfeld. Where? That Where? is uh, up here in the. Oh, uh, hold on. I haven't seen the it. The upper really. uh, left hand corner. Are you friends with Jerry? That's of like course. his, his Jerry picture. Loves, I know you are. And by the way, it's embarrassing. This is what here's it says MySpace comedy Colin Quinn, and then it says stand up slash as seen on TV. <laughs> yeah, what? Is, <laughs> you're an awful product. You're still yeah, on WPIX. You're a, you're a flow no, bee. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're. <laughs> oh, my God. He was, Colin was made by Ron Popeil. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a picture of, of him and Jerry, uh, which kind of annoys me because it's so much better than my picture with Jerry, which is me on the steps. And him standing above me at the comedy cellar. Uh, well, I, you, you know how I feel about all your celebrity pictures. They're fantastic. I'm praying a celebrity kills you. Why? <laughs> because I hate it. Why? I had fun. I told you a long time ago. We have a lot to discuss today about your attitude, and I'm going to start as soon as I feel the time. By is the way, and, and, <laughs> and, and now with the rest of here's what Colin's page is. It's a picture of Colin on stage. His hair is kind of a mess. He's like got his, 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 his typical Colin Pose. He's kind of standing there just with the mic in front of him and his hands in his pockets, kind of laid back. But it's the same picture, one on top of the other. It, it's, it's a tightly tiled background, which means instead of just having you on stage at uh, right. Joint in Las Vegas, oh, uh, it, it's 800 pictures of him next to it, it, the oh, same picture. Thing, it's tiled. Yeah. I don't think my brother put this up. I don't know what this is. I honestly... This is your MySpace profile. It, it is. It's yeah. your MySpace. Yeah, I gotta do something. It is. This isn't mm -hmm. a fan site. This is I was made by you or somebody very close to you. And by the way, the way the dates are, there's no clips of Colin or, or that I can see. It's like you click on it, right? And I have no CDs. I'm a wreck. A bunch of dates. Like it's you're, the end. Colin's at, I'm gonna, uh, Colin's <laughs> it's at, the end. At Gotham. What are you, at Gotham tonight through Sunday in yeah. New York? Yeah, uh, he's here in New York at Gotham Comedy Club. Ooh, and, and he really is commanding the show. He throws in the plugs organically as he trashes <laughs> well, you. Well, <laughs> organically as he trashes. He's a pro. Truth. All right. I mean, but you, it's just listed. Hey, yeah. Jim, I'll say the joke that you thought was funny from 12 to 14, and so did I. Hey, you're a real pro. Phylactic. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to Arizona. Uh, Matt, what's up? Good morning, boys. Good morning, hey. Matt. Uh, yeah, I dated a girl. Uh, she had those MySpace voodoo pictures. She was disgusting. She looked like a uh, like a little twelve year old Mexican boy when I met her. What what, um, what was good about her picture? Yeah, then? What's the downside? Uh, well, she she had a cute face. When she, exactly. She has like. She had a little bit of hair on her chin, too, which was really <laughs> <laughs> I once actually slipped with a girl to go take years ago. Yeah. Yeah. But what did she... Uh, uh, horrendous. <laughs> but the point is, what did she do on our MySpace picture that attracted you, and that, and how did she hide uh, hide all this crap? She had a uh, vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That's what attracted him. <laughs> all right. Th thanks. Let's go to... <laughs> yeah. Let's go Fair to Pete in Jersey. Fair she enough. She had a vagina... <laughs> Uh, Pete. Hey, what's going on, boys? What's up? Hey, uh, listen to this one. <laughs> go to meet the chick on MySpace, and she puts a picture of herself from like ten years earlier. And then you go to meet her at the bar, and she looks all of the forty-five that she really is. Yeah, they do that all the time. <laughs> oh, it's an older God. Yeah, yeah have to look at other stuff in the picture. <laughs> Like yeah. if you're getting out of a car that was in a freebie in the bean. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably <laughs> <laughs> freebie in the bean. Don't even joke like that. We make that movie and ruin it too. I can just imagine. Let's go to uh, Mike in Pittsburgh. Uh, Mike. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey go man. to that website, Iraq. E what's up, Mike? I've been burned a few times. I uh, checked out a few girls who look totally smoking hot, but their photos are cropped out. Their faces are like blocked out. Yeah. Cause it's like a mirror shot, and then you go up and you meet them, and their face is just like divots. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that a real picture on that website, Iraq? E that one, I'm not sure. Oh come I think on! It is. That, I'm starting, I'm starting to think huge. it's a real picture. Oh, it is a real picture. That girl's gigantic. They may, she may have had. There's a picture of a girl laying on an orange blanket, and uh, she looks like. She's probably 500 pounds, and she's propped yeah. up on her arm with her breasts kind of like at a sexy little top. And, like, 
the middle of her looks good. Like her face and her cleavage looks good. The rest yeah. of her, she looks like like, like a, just a sea animal. So, <laughs> yeah. The, if you show just the face and the breast, she looks like she. Could and that, be a I believe girl. they would call that the MySpace iceberg. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's like ninety percent of it you can't see, and well, it's the most dangerous part. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's cropped to the to the point where you see her cute face and her cleavage, and she looks like an average, uh, a regular looking a girl. human That's being. Hot. She looks sure. like a human <laughs> being. <laughs> and then you realize that I, what yeah. she's not showing is uh, a real. Really, really, really large. Yeah, she should have Carrie Fine. Fisher on a chain. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the other ones? What What is this website, by the way? Um, we'll link it up. All right, we'll I link it up. That, uh, I heard uh, Chris Hansen is doing a Catch a Predator with those girls, where he brings them. And he goes, they, "What's wrong with you?" He goes, "Sit down. What are you doing here?" Yeah, yeah. He goes, I'll be right back. <laughs> Look at you, you fat pig. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they don't even answer. They just go right for the cookies. And <laughs> they don't even use their hands. They put their mouth it, in the bowl. It's worth it when he's trying to run out. And the cops throw him on the ground because it's so fat. It looks hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, go to the other one. So then, uh, then they talk about the MySpace angle. Where the girl figures out uh, what angle makes her look good, usually like a profile shot. And they're showing an example of this girl. She looks really, really hot in her profile. Is it side shot? She's looking to the left. Yeah. And then uh, there's another picture of her, which is more, uh, you know, from her breasts up. And you can tell that she's pretty large and should be playing for a football. She's an elephant. Yeah. And what, what they do is they use the hair to loop under and cover their oh, neck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you don't see the neck uh, fat, yeah. right? All right, what's That's the next one? That's a good one? move. Uh, here's a here's a, something that uh, happens on MySpace. Steve Miller. Back yeah. in the <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> the uh, the very large glasses to to hide a fat face. Yeah, you, they're showing a picture of a girl. She's got the very large kind of like Paris Hilton sunglasses. Got those, the old guy that just got cataract surgery right. glasses on. <laughs> but the stylish version. And she, yeah, she looks like she could be a cute blonde, right? And then you take the glasses off, and it it, it shows how fat her cheeks are mm -hmm. and it's a it's a much different uh they all wind looking up looking girl. like field hockey players <laughs> <laughs> yeah they really do the asian one's not that bad this girl uh she sucks in her uh cheekbones yep so she has really nice cheekbones it oh. the 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 picture is uh, kind of from above a little bit and it's and it's a side shot with hair is is uh, strategically placed right and she's sucking in the cheekbones you see nothing but cheekbones this girl looks like uh, uh, Carney Wilson. Well, you, or, yes. was it Carney Wilson? Yeah, the fat one. She yep. actually looks Panette. like. Yeah, she actually looks like <laughs> Carney Wilson when she's not sucking in the uh, the cheekbone. The angle you're seeing is picture like she's a little bit below you, and and you're to her left. So she's probably holding the camera with her left arm and mm -hmm. taking the picture from above. And like she has no friends. She, yeah. she shouldn't. <laughs> she shouldn't to take herself. And, and she, she has her right hand up, like stop, like she's holding her right hand up, like she's mm -hmm. doing some sassy pose. <laughs> sassy. Uh, uh, all right, what's the next one? What a manatee! Oh yeah, this, this one. one is really classic. This is a risky move. Uh, very talented, this girl. She's wearing nothing but it looks like a bra and panties. Yeah, little boy shorts, right? Little boy shorts or short, and a bra uh, or a very short yeah. skirt. It's the, hard to tell because that's uh, how much he's messing with the angle. Here. This is also what I call the underwater shot because it looks like it's underwater. The flash uh, really lights up the face, but the body and stuff is left in this darkness. Right. Like a great white coming at the cage. <laughs> uh, it's like oh, very good because you, 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 it's coming out of the murkiness at you. <laughs> She's leaning over now and hiding 90% of her body. Well, because from the top angle, you can see the breasts in the outfit yep. and then the skirt. Like and her, her face is skirt. right there in the picture. And like Ann said, because she's leaning her face forward. Face is right in the picture. The, the fatness is way behind her, so it looks thinner. The other problem, the other thing she's doing to kind of trick you here is using that uh, that artsy, like, uh, black and white. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because she knows in color she looks awful. And then yeah. they, the next picture is her during the day, outside, color photo. It looks like she's in front of the Alamo or something. Soccer mom. And she is... Uh, she's dumpy. No, she's nowhere close to... <laughs> she's a dumpy girl. Dumpy. She's nowhere close yeah. to that other picture with the short, short skirt. You like, couldn't even... If you put those pictures uh, with, like, five other pictures, yeah. you would never, ever no. pick her as the same uh, girl. Like, I'd let her service me in the car, and then I'd kick her out. Like, that, she's not atrocious, but she's a dumpy girl. But if dumpy. You, if you were meeting the, the other picture, 
It's the same girl. You would take her out to dinner and... Uh... No, he wouldn't. He'd have a service in the car. Well, absolutely. Well, because he's <laughs> yeah, not a, a real human being, but, the, girl, but <laughs> the average guy would, would take her to dinner. If the girl on top showed up, I would at least talk to her before I took it out. Yeah. The girl on the bottom would <laughs> literally walk in my door, and as she was sitting on the sofa, she'd hear this. Zip. Wait, no, I thought that would get a, a big, like, buckle sound. Yeah. Now the my... buckle sound didn't really work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very well. That, you need a you're, Foley engineer. You're a little rusty since your <laughs> enema on stage closer days. <laughs> oh, you that props. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I would hold the uh, fleet enema. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ugh. Uh, what's the <laughs> next one? Did it, ever occur to you guys that, did it ever occur to you guys that these pictures say more about us <laughs> and what where her values are than the ladies? <laughs> uh, yeah. But we don't like thinking about that. We feel better about ourselves by making other fe people feel bad, Colin. Now, you know. Oh, do I ever? <laughs> this next picture is a girl. Uh, same thing, kind of that artsy, not black and white, but one shade of oh. color. Uh, you and can then tell, you can tell she's kind of a kind of a chubby girl, but uh, she, pictures way overexposed right. too. Her yeah, face go for the Natalie Merchant vibe. Yeah, her, yep. her face looks smooth, like there's not a blemish on it because, like yep. I said, it's overexposed, one shade. Uh, the face isn't bad. And then the bottom, Rocky Dennis. Right. She's got <laughs> well, Rocky Dennis. It says at the bottom, picture taken by local eerie fag hag. <laughs> <laughs> friend, high school friend and fag hag. The other important thing to, to point out with the, the good picture of the two, uh -huh. she doesn't have her mouth open. She's smiling yeah. and covering her teeth. And we find out why she has horrific teeth. Yeah, there's a problem there. <laughs> she has. She usually wears glasses and awful glasses, and she has all sorts of acne on her face. Well, I like the way it's I like, like uh, rosacea. Like Jim Garrison. Yeah. And, uh, he goes. He's he's like Jim Garrison in the uh, Kennedy. Yes, yeah, yeah, JFK. He doesn't open her mouth, and then in this picture we find out why she's got awful teeth. <laughs> <laughs> this country was founded. <laughs> Remember, you're dying orthodontist. <laughs> she had gigantic. <laughs> She has gigantic gums, yeah. and to, like if you look at her teeth and gums, there should always be more tooth. But it looks like a pink and white, even separation. Like her yep. gums are the same size There's as her teeth. Way too much gums. Yeah. Let's say hi to Tara. She's from New York. Tara, what's up? Hey, how you guys doing? Pretty hey. good. Your girls do this all the I time. Love you guys. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Tara. I have friends that you know are addicted to MySpace, right? And actually convinced to get mine after years and this one girl that i know is a large girl um, <laughs> she's a large takes person her she's a great big yeah, fat person yes yeah, she big large. through the hips roomy 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 yeah <laughs> we're all pretty big and you know i'm you know what i'm a big girl and i'm proud of it but i'm honest about Listen it to this show mm-hmm well, I'm honest about it. If you look at the page, you'll yeah, see all my pictures. All right, we get it. You're honest about yeah, your fatness. Honest, what are you trying to okay. say about this subject? She, if you looked at hers, all her pictures are like you said, the iceberg pictures. Yeah. Where it's just the <laughs> face and the chest. Yeah. And nothing from the boobs down. Because <laughs> she's wow. shaped like a pear. Um, No, more like a pumpkin. More like a pumpkin. Just a big, round fatty. Uh, it's like, give us the uh, Barton Fink with John Goodby goes, okay, I have a weight problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tara's now listening to herself. Can you go back to that website? Sure. I don't know why you need to go. Uh, Where are you going, Iraq? Come on, man. Finding something else. Just pay attention. You could find something else. By later. the way, there's another girl on there, and she's uh, she's, she's got the angle up like where she's, again, she's holding it like. Holding above. the camera above her head, looking straight up at it. Yes. Right? Yeah, that, that, let me tell you what that does. Thins the face out. Uh, her hair is uh, placed by her cheekbones, so that thins the face out. She's got bangs that kind of go into her eyes, and the camera is on the ceiling. Right. It's like she's looking into a ceiling fan. And, uh, and that so, keeps the fatness uh, far away from the, the, the camera into a fan. lens. <laughs> It also makes the eyes look very attractive because you get a lot of the uh, white of the eyes underneath, and it makes our eyes look very big. All right, Anthony, you're starting to sound like Project Runway. Uh, I really am. My hair uh, is cut correctly. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. She's gorgeous. But then the reality is, uh, then you what is that? It's not the same person. She's at some kind of street fair. It's it's daylight. She's with the crowd. She's given the peace sign. She is the crowd. <laughs> yeah, and she is. This can't be the same girl. The, 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 the other picture, no. 
ha- looks like a girl that would be easily 150 pounds heavier than the one we're looking at. And then right. you realize the ceiling fan she probably avoided because it reminded her of when propellers would hit her back <laughs> while she was in the lake <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> what, a, what a fat body. And believe me, yeah. I, I've hooked up with girls like this where you talk to them. and they Oh, say, we believe you. Oh, yeah, yeah, believe you believe me. You, you, you might not believe this one. Yeah. Believe me, you. She looks like actually, she actually looks like a girl that I met up with uh, before MySpace. It was when Which I was picture? In, the bottom one. Of oh, course. of course. <laughs> Please. All right, let's go to Vinny in Jersey. We got another example as we Vinny. talk to Vinny. Vinny, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. All right. Yeah, so I met this girl in MySpace. With my, it was about last year, actually. Um, she, so she looked cute in the pictures. You know, the lighting was all good. She had this nice, fine, blonde hair, pretty face. So we agreed to meet, all right? So I meet up with this girl. She steps out of the car, and I thought I was in Mario World or something. I swear to God, this girl's like Kirby. She was what? She looked. She looked like Kirby from you know the old Nintendo oh, wow. game. <laughs> <laughs> nice reference. She was a fatty, huh? Yeah, man. Like the pictures look. She awesome, looked like Tyrant man. from Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Let's go to Princeton and say hi to Phil. Phil, what's up? Phil? Hey, how you guys doing? Hey. <laughs> you, you missed a real biggie here. It's the women that go to the mall and get a glamour shot with a fuzzy filter on it. Yeah. Oh, those glamour yeah. shots. Yeah, fuzzy filters. Uh, There's another wow. show. A, a totally contrived pose, and it's like, ugh, you know, 80s hairdo and an outfit from I don't know where. 80s hairdo, the big puffy hair. We are jerks, though. Colin is right. Like, these are girls who just want to have a few MySpace friends and finally understand what it's like to kind of be cute and have guys flirt with you instead well, of avoiding you like the yeah. disgusting animal that you are. <laughs> I understand, like, you but know. they don't have to show up then, you know. They can just keep it in. I agree. Space, I understand right? maybe putting on a little makeup, Jimmy, and maybe turn the lights down a little bit for your photo. But yeah, yeah. Why don't you explain the next one? That is that, brutally that, deceiving. That's trickery right there. That, 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 that girl should play. be arrested. <laughs> she, should. she should be arrested. <laughs> well, the next one is amazing. Yeah. Explain right this there. one. Well, basically what monitor, I said. Colin, oh. sorry. Basically what Ooh. I said, she turned down the lighting to make it nice and soft. She definitely put a, a lot of eye makeup on around her eyes, that, you know, to make them all dark around the edges there, right? To, uh, and turned down the lighting to make it soft. A vampire would go, could we turn on some lights? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and his pitch like, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what the funny. problem is? I forgot yeah. to set you up. How dark is it? Right. <laughs> People can be cruel. <laughs> okay, I have a weight problem. The uh, so dark. The bra is. <laughs> the bra couldn't well, be skimpier. So skimpy. The bra couldn't be skimpier, showing <laughs> how showing, skimpy was it? <laughs> showing ample boobage. Very nice breasts, right? Yeah. Very nice. Nice black bra. Get to the sloss and cut off. Get out of your car. Cut off your sloss and <laughs> into your car. Go to the I five. Marty's talking about Syracuse. <laughs> Sally Syracuse out there. <laughs> and and once again, the photos from above. She's kind of looking up at the camera, mm-hmm. and you see the nice face uh, with the eyes uh, well done. Yeah. And very nice boobage and a very very skimpy bra. That's all you see. You don't see her waistline or nothing else, right, Jimmy? Yeah. And then what would we get? The next photo. And that's <laughs> after training camp for Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> the next photo is is her uh, uh, still with the kind of the same look on her face, but it's a front shot where there's a center across where her breasts would be because obviously she was topless. Yeah. But it sh- and then it shows her below all the way down to the thighs, and it looks like a human head has been placed on an elephant. Yeah. That's what it looks <laughs> like. It her. is uh, taken a light bulb, turn it upside down, and put hair where the screw end is. Wow. <laughs> That's what she looks like. Yes. Giant. Big fat person, but not as useful as a light bulb. She no. can't light a room. She darkens everywhere she goes by her blockage of the sun. <laughs> picture, <laughs> picture shallow Hal with dark hair. Yeah, she's that yeah. big. She is that big. And that that she's picture, got the biggest panties I've ever seen in my life. The top picture is uh, stunning. Yeah, absolutely. You would you'd want to meet the top picture, right? Yeah. Would it be one of those cases where the guy kills her, like when they find out it's a transvestite, and then the guy kills her? You know. Or let's do a movie like uh, yeah, like. Boys don't cry about a fat, ugly girl. Or when the guy kills her, or the guy continues to see her anyway. Just pretends he doesn't know. <laughs> the guy, you know. <laughs> you know, the guy. have a friend. Um, and by the way, Bob Kelly's picture, if you saw Bobby Kelly's picture, is if you look at Bob Kelly's picture, Dude. it's got like this sassy lip Percy thing. Like, Dude. Like he's blowing a kiss. Uh, he's he looks tr- like the professional. Yeah. He, he looks like the guy from the professional. Dude. Wow, those are old uh, Bob Kelly pictures. They're deceitful. Like there's a picture of Bob with his Dude. little fingers up like, damn. 
sounded like he's a real rebel. Hey, <laughs> F you, dude. My space hard. rebel. F you. He's trying too hard to be cute. But it's because Bob used to be such a handsome stud, let's yeah. be honest. Yes. But now, you know, he doesn't realize. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's horrendous. Let's go to Kyle in Michigan. Kyle. Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning. Uh, one thing these big fat messes do is they'll take pictures of themselves peeking from behind a tree. Linger longer. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> all right, that goes back. I did work at a radio station, and we all had to take publicity photos, and there was a girl that had a real hot voice, but uh, she wasn't much of a looker. So yeah. they decided to put, like, Tom Cruise sunglasses on her and have her... Have her peeking from behind a tree. <laughs> oh, what is to co to continue the? Uh, the you saw the clever ruse. You saw none of that girl. What do you mean? None of it. Like no. it was a tree, the side of her hair, and glasses. I don't want to blow up her spot. No. She's really nice, but they, but she had such a hot voice. The radio station understood. A lot of guys were listening to her at night because they're yeah. picturing a really hot girl because her voice was so hot. Mm-hmm. And, but then, you know, this web thing became huge, and everyone needed their pictures online. And like, ooh, what are we going to do? <laughs> so it was Tom Cruise glasses and a tree for her. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another website? Another one. What's, what's oh, this one, Iraq? What's that one? This one's called The Truth About MySpace. It shows you all the different poses and is, uh, is it techniques. The Truth About MySpace.com? Well, what is this one? Uh, DrunkReport.com. Better and, be. And then you can find it, uh, slash MySpace. Uh, the truth about MySpace. Yeah, the one we didn't talk about, the blurry. The blurry picture. Go to that second one, Iraq. Can we see the second one, the Asian girl? The Asian girl, the self-portrait is used a lot. Why would it be at the truth about MySpace? Why would it be? What are they doing? They're showing you tricks, but you can't see what the girls really look like, so these might not be tricks. Yeah, but they're talking about extreme angles, the up-close dark photo, what else? But they're yeah, not showing you the girls as they are. Like, these could be the way they really look. This could be an accurate representation of the girls. The yeah. long hair. First just... of all, Jim, you just saw it for one minute. The guy worked a long time on it. Why don't you give it a break? <laughs> <laughs> We're critiquing the guy's critique of my space and let it slide. <laughs> no, I want, I want more detail. He's not giving us detail. Well, they're saying that when you see it, the obvious <laughs> photo of the goods, they call it, like, you know, the girl down below... And she's not willing to show her face. That that's a problem too. No, she just knows what a man wants. <laughs> she no one cares about her head. She can have advertising tape to her face for all I care. If I show up, she can have a pet coat sign on her face and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you just kept going. I know I did because I, I felt we didn't know where the pause was. I yeah. felt disinterest and silence. <laughs> Stop. And like, we needed a period there, so let we, us we laugh. Know that the sentence was over. Uh, well, I figured I would use that to my my. I would say I'll, I'll take the fact that everyone here sees me bombing, <laughs> and I'll I'll. Speak Spin it into a good one, and it's just the Petco one. Work. Did Let's go to Jeff in New York. Uh, Jeff says dating websites even worse. Uh, Jeff. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Yo, your shows have been on fire lately, for real. I just want to let you know. For real, yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you, sir. You have no idea. This, the, the photos on this these websites are like glamour shots compared to what these boards look like in real life. Yeah, that's what we're getting after the last mm -hmm. half hour. Yeah, I can understand on the dating site, though. But again, wouldn't you be embarrassed to show... Like, I would rather show pictures of myself... That are less attractive. So when I show up, they're like, "Wow, you're a little cuter than I thought you'd be." I think everyone tries to look good in a photo, but it, there's a point where you're just being ridiculous with what you really are. Like if I yeah. want to meet a girl, I'll take a photo of myself. I have a sweater and I have like a collar shirt <laughs> under it, and in front of a fireplace. That's a good look for you. It really is a yeah. gentleman's photo. Yeah. Let's go back up to Boston. Listening on BCN, it's Charlie. Charlie, what's up? Charlie, what's going on? Hey, man. Hey, what about a nice, accurate picture of a hot chick, and then when you finally meet her? You see that the arm crutches that she wears were never in any of the photos. <laughs> what, like the arm braces? Did that happen to you? Yeah. yeah. So you uh, yes, it did. so you met her and uh, and she comes popping out of a car and then starts walking over with her crutches. Oh, she was already sitting down in the bar, dude. Oh wow. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go to Elena, I think, in Boston. Elena. Hi. How are you? Hey, Elena. Um, I just want to say how horrible I think MySpace is. My husband was put in jail over somebody copying his MySpace page, and no one did a thing about it. Uh -oh. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Wait a minute. This right, this, this sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah we're going to pick this story apart. Hold, hold on, Larry Craig, family member, <laughs> uh, believable excuse. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, what What are the details? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> details. Okay. Somebody copied his MySpace page, copied just his picture, made that fake page private, and what they did was they sent his ex-girlfriend a threatening message. No, because IP address would, would be revealed that it wasn't from him, and he would not have gone to jail. Oh, well, here's the best part. The DA, the courts, no one ever did anything about that. If they did their job right the first time, 
he never would have been taken to jail on my birthday. Well, hold on. Who was his defense lawyer? Was it Arthur Kirkland? She doesn't care that he went to jail. She just cares that he went to jail on her birthday. <laughs> Anyone else pick up on that? Yeah, yeah on my, birthday. ruined it's my, my birthday. birthday. She doesn't care that he went to oh, jail. self Why do you have to do it on my birthday? What happened with the ex-girl, boy, girlfriend? What happened? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, honestly, no one knows where she, no one knows where she is. No one really gives a crap about where she is. Oh. But all I know is that <laughs> she's living. She's living a good life right now because she doesn't have to worry about what's going on. She's in the clear. Like breathing. <laughs> so wait, Miss, you're saying that he went to jail for a threatening MySpace message? That's you're not telling us that anything. he didn't send, and then the girlfriend disappeared. Oh yeah, they also no, found dead bodies cares. in his backyard and shallow graves. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is where she is, she said. Yeah. No, no, this this actually happened back in August. Um, no, they it, like I said, if they did just their job right the first time, he never would have gone to jail. Then the funny thing was, he was sitting at my work at my old job when the message was sent. No computers. I mean, it's a the Angelos for crying out loud. So miss no computers, no nothing, no internet. Why was he doing it your job on on your birthday? Exactly. <laughs> What do you do besides sound like besides sound like Pacino's wife in Dog Day Afternoon? <laughs> he was at my computer on my birthday. He says, "Send the MySpace message, you fat pig." I says, "Is he gonna kill me and throw my body in the river?" <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, court, the court date was on my birthday. It was a month later, but the court date. Ah, uh, oh, get over it. Yeah. You'll have enough birthdays. Right. Exactly. Hopefully, your that'll be the last birth. one. Stupid <laughs> birthday. Enough about your stupid well, birthday. Say what happened? You want a gift card? We'll send it what out. What happened? Though? Yeah, what happened, Miss? What, a threatening message. What did it say? Um, if you don't, if you don't let me see Riley, then I'll take care of you. Um, all eyes will be on you. Some bull crap like that. But it's called a two pack. Mm. How long has he been in jail? He was in jail for twenty three days. He's out now. But so for that message, he went to jail. Huh? He went to jail for that message alone. Yeah. No. I don't believe it. A threatening me one threatening message would not get you a month in jail. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no. Well, apparently someone did the same thing last year and put him on probation. Was it on your birthday? On her birthday. Enough about your birthday. I think this girl likes her birthday, huh, Jimmy? She loves her birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps more than that. Perhaps more than that. All right, Elena, we don't buy your story. There's more to it no, that you're not yeah. willing to reveal. Yeah. So we uh, gotta take uh, my, my opinion is your husband's a creep. Yeah, you're uh, being naive. What, someone else, someone set up another... Another threatening message that wasn't from him? Yeah. Stop it. All right, let's be naive, Kate. <laughs> Just gonna One more before the break. It's uh... Kay, by the way, not Kate. It's Kay. Jennifer Kate. and Rockland. Jennifer? <laughs> Kate. Hi, boys. Hi. <laughs> I, uh, I, I never did the MySpace page thing until recently. And, of course, this weekend, I happened to leave Jimmy a comment. Uh-oh. And uh, I'm freaking out thinking y'all talking about me. No, I actually... Uh... Well, let's see your picture. We'll Hold tell on. you what's going on. Go to, go to my page. <laughs> you asked, go to my page. Did Jim respond to the comments? No, Jim did not respond to the comments. He's got thousands of people leaving comments. He's going to comment. Well, yeah. Of course, there's a million people. Well, how oh, when did you leave the comments? I'm just thumbing through a few of these myself. Trying to, what? People, people are giving me links to uh, MySpace. And right, right. He's in there just um, hey, uh, horrific. Jennifer, can we look at your MySpace picture? You, why? You do some of that MySpace voodoo? No, I don't. Think By the way, we want everyone to throw MySpace Voodoo in Google today. <laughs> MySpace Voodoo. Did you? Uh, did you? Did you try to take? Did you try to take a, a sexier picture than maybe you should have? No, I did not try to take a picture. I just took pictures that I had. Oh. This so computer sucks. Sucks. All right, we, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. All right, we're we're jammed up here. Hold on the line, Jennifer. We'll try to get back to you after the break. We got Colin Quinn in studio. He's playing Gotham Comedy Club. What? Friday, and Saturday, Sunday? Yes, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was trying to show Colin how a real page was set up. By the way, not just the same photo thirty times with your dates in white, which are hard to read. <laughs> yes. Have someone else do your page. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... I mean, go down to the top, just real quick, just show him. Go down to the top, to the top of the page. Who does your page, Jimmy? My agent, and, and I, I answer the emails. To top, at the very top. First of all, nobody asked you part two of that. You know, answer all the emails and lies. So I mean, I do. Let me explain. Shut up. Let me explain why Jimmy. <laughs> let me explain why Jimmy wanted us to go to the top of his MySpace oh. page because there's a huge banner that says Jim Norton in concert, New Year's Eve, North, North Fork Port Theater, Theater. Oh. Westbury. He doesn't. He's not trying to help you. I out. am trying. That to was help. a clever way for us to no. get his oh, plug in. Opie, his you New have Year's Eve show. Opie, you have too cynical. With tickets on Jim sale this Friday at North 9 a.m. Click here to purchase tickets. It's all right there, right, Jimmy? Yeah, you want to go to. 
What does that have to do about a nice MySpace page? Nothing. Because you have to have links to your stuff. <laughs> you just have a bunch of white letters. No one can read your stuff. But you're saying the Northport what? New Year's Eve gig? What? North Fork. It's Westbury Music Fair. Yeah. New Year's Eve. And I think you're being on cynical sale tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's not about me. It's about you. Uh, I, <laughs> you're, you're in New York somewhere, too, this week, which Colin, is nice. I know you're right there with me. Give me, a, <laughs> give right, a, little, give me a little fist touch there on that one. It's Opie and Anthony. We'll continue. <laughs> Colin Quinn in studio playing Gotham Comedy Club here in New York City. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There you go. <laughs> there you go. What are you talking about with this? Uh... Uh, Wilford Brimley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I was just uh, on uh, MySpace, uh, MySpace, YouTube, and there are so many Wilford Brimley little goofs that people have put together about his uh, uh, diabetes commercial. You ever see that one where he talks about getting your diabetes supplies from Liberty? I get them delivered to my house. I got diabetes. And 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 everyone I know and every time I see it I go, "What why isn't he saying diabetes? What is diabetes?" Oh, it's that's my catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone's like, "I want to be the beatus man." <laughs> the beatus <laughs> man. <laughs> Wilford Brimley, like he was he was an actor in everything. You, you know his face if you see it. He's that big mustache guy, the big white mustache. He's been in, in so, ma so many movies. And now all you see him is talking about, I have diabetes, what? and I get my supplies through Liberty. If you got diabetes, and you sit there and go, why is he saying it like that? But why did this take off? Because was he's it, an ass. Was it Family Guy or one of those? Uh, usually that's what happens. I don't know, but like now Family Guy or South Park will make some obscure, like you know, <laughs> joke about like somebody from the past, and next thing you know, it's a YouTube sensation. There's, there's, uh, like remixes that people have done, and 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 uh, parodies that they've done about him. Oh, is that from uh, Family Guy? Why don't we oh, okay. get some of the uh, Brimley stuff for tomorrow's radio show? Get some Family Guy. Because now that I see you searched it on YouTube, there's this hundred. Dude, of them. it's it's just one of those things that. You think you're the only one that's thinking it when you see it, and then you realize, okay, everyone thinks this guy's an ass and is saying, why is he saying diabetes? We'll have a lot more tomorrow, but we got a little taste for you today. Diabetes, 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 testing supplies. <laughs> diabetes, come and rock me, diabetes. But dude, do it a song like that. How do they not think he was going to get goofed on? <laughs> See, Jimmy, I don't think you understand. Uh, Diabetes. Yeah, it's just one of those commercials that pop on, and you're like, what? but what's he doing? It's all over YouTube. Big, Everyone's fat, making their Wilford remix. Brimley. All right, well, Dude, he was scary in the firm. God, could they have gotten a oh, big yeah, yeah. bad guy? He's a, he was just a nerd, the, the Quaker Oats guy chasing somebody with a gun. It was, that, that, was that was pretty creepy. They did a good parody on that one, uh, on uh, Seinfeld, I guess. With the um, the mail delivery one, where Kramer was protesting the post office, and they pulled him in. And he's the postal inspector. That was a very funny one. Well, well, regardless if you know it or not in the room, <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of people listening going, I saw that, and I found it very funny. Hello, Newman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go. that's it. Colin's with you. <laughs> sure he is. Oh, Colin's right Colin there with you. you. You know, you have a picture with Jerry on your uh, my MySpace, MySpace page. page. You, you would, should know every episode. Yeah, you would think you would I'm have the seen a show. I'm the opposite of those girls. My MySpace <laughs> made so horrendous. <laughs> it drives people away. It doesn't attract I them. I know, but you talk about my celebrity <laughs> photos, and you're a celebrity. Uh, although one of minor stature, you are a <laughs> celebrity. <laughs> I'm not minor stature. I'm just descending rapidly. No. <laughs> And, and Don't patronize me. He goes, no. No. I First of all, if I am or not, your opinion is not going to matter either way. Now go on. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that. Shut up and continue. No, I am. I can't shut up and continue. Those things are they're, they're antonyms. Uh, uh, so better not end with Northport Theater or Northport no, no, Theater. No, no, no. I, no I'm, 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 well, who cares about tomorrow morning tickets on sale? It's irrelevant. Yeah. I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking about your picture with Seinfeld. You're a famous guy. You have a picture with Seinfeld on your MySpace page. It's a disgrace. Yeah, it's true. What's his picture on his MySpace? It's probably not with you. It probably isn't me. No, it's not. <laughs> does he even have a MySpace? I'm sure he does. I bet he doesn't. Hey, uh, we got a great little news story. It is uh, Perv News Thursday. We love to find these little pervy stories, and uh, this one's a classic today. 
Check this out. I know Creek man accused of planning a hidden camera in his friend's bathroom will spend the next year in prison. Wow. Only on 12 News, Caroline Leiters reports on an emotional morning in court for both families affected by his crime. Sean Komarowski came to court asking the judge for probation, not prison. If I could take the pain um, away, believe me, I, I would. He admitted to the crime. He bought this camera clock radio at a sharper image store and for more than a year collected the video images it captured from his best friend's bathroom. <laughs> oh, God. Who was he watching, his buddy or his buddy's kids? Uh, we'll find out more, but... Uh, it doesn't matter. The guy sounds like a poor slob. Let him go. Well, that's what I was getting at there, Colin. He's a, he's a disabled man. Oh. Yes, can you a little disabled pleasure? Disabled man plants a uh, camera in best friend's bathroom. Wait, now, why the bathroom? Because he likes that activity, or is that the only place his little crippled body can get it to? <laughs> he was because trying to get it onto the mantle, you're, but he's too short. disabled, your whole life revolves around the bathroom, so it's associated with a lot of things. Oh, that, very good, Colin. Look what I'm telling. <laughs> it's true. That's true. This little twisted body Old in the target bathroom. Chest. You know what? I mean? <laughs> let's uh, let's let's uh, kind of say. Do you think you should go to jail now? Uh, part of me feels uh, a little, a little bad for the guy. Me little too. Disabled, really, disabled guy probably didn't get any action his entire just life. Just wants a little thrill. Just it's wants like a little peek. Unto catch a predator, they had this young guy, and the guy goes, "You knew she was 13." He goes, "Yeah." I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie to you. It's one of my fantasies. <laughs> Chris Hansen's like, what? Yeah. I don't know what this guy oh, okay, was. Okay, you're free to go. I, I want to make it perfectly clear. I don't know what this guy was peeking at. I, yeah, what the hell is he I'm looking at? i it's hot, you know, college co-eds. But I thought it was his, his buddy. It's his buddy's house. So Ooh. I don't know what's going in his buddy's house there. Is maybe his buddy or? was a real swinger. Wait, yeah, had, had yeah, the buddy, maybe. Had the buddy not known, he goes, here, put this clock in your bathroom. <laughs> Could you turn it to the left a little? Why? Well, yeah. <laughs> Just so you can see it better. Yeah. It looks like that stupid clock in Scarface where the 12 is missing. Yeah. <laughs> Big black hole. <laughs> Bunch of savvy drug dealers don't notice there's no 12 on the clock. Oh. And he wants you to put it on the tub ledge so it's at, at, at like at, at level of the guy's ass. Like, how stupid are these people? Could you put it on the ceiling and aim it down to between your legs on the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Hang this clock to the ceiling. Kamarowski's parents begged the judge for leniency, saying since childhood, Sean's been teased and tormented because of his physical disabilities. His mom told the court the same disabilities that made him a target in school would make him a target in prison. The world is a wait, 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 wait. What, what, what's the disability that make him a target? His ass starts at the back of his neck and it ends at his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> he has a giant ass. <laughs> that would make him a target. In that, kid's all, that kid's all ass. And, and, and it's a birthmark and it, it looks like a tattoo and it says, I dare you to, right over the ass. <laughs> What's, what's his the world is a cruel place. Mm -hmm. I don't want to imagine what it would be like for him being behind prison walls. But his victim said prison is where he belongs, mm -hmm. that this camera violated their privacy and took away any sense of security they had. In the end, Judge Joseph Donald agreed. This court finds that the probation recommendation would unduly depreciate the serious nature of this offense. He sentenced Komarowski to a year in prison. His family devastated, saying he needs help. His victims, who didn't want to be on camera, were relieved. But they don't want to explain who the victims were. And what was his disability? I don't know. And show the video from the clock that they don't want to show up. They course. said his disability. It was Komarowski. He's Polish. <laughs> He was sentenced to prison time, and that made me feel, a that's going to make me feel a little bit safer. Oh, she sounds hot. Tomorowski was the best man in the victim's wedding and had been friends with them for more than a decade. Even oh. though he did plead guilty, he never said why he committed the crime. Well, what do you, uh, why do you why think he did? He liked looking at, at toilet footage. That's my, that's my educated <laughs> guess. Yeah. Idiot. He's yes, a bit Danny. of a voyeur. Yes, uh, Danny. I just wanted to uh, make it clear that uh, the victim was the, the friend's wife. They do show her in the, in ah, the footage. Was she hot? Word All right. That mess. makes more sense. She was a mess? Yeah. She should have been flattered. Oh, so he's, he's probably <laughs> taking, like, tub footage and stuff and shower footage. Yeah, I'm assuming that it was probably her, you know, getting out of the shower. How'd they catch her? So what's the big deal? That I don't know. The guy was desperate, obviously. Well, yeah. And how would he sneak into the bathroom to unload tape? Well, how'd that happen? I don't know the specifics of how that specific camera works. So, well, I mean, that's what Jim's trying to get to. Of course was, it is. I mean, if he was best friends with uh, with the guy, I'm assuming that he had you know he had access to the guy's house on a fairly regular basis. Colin, Colin and I are good friends. I've been in his bathroom once in six years. Yeah. 
which means I have a lot of footage to collect. <laughs> <laughs> if you remember that clock I gave you. <laughs> All right, we got one more quickie before we get out of here. Uh, Perv News continues with this fine story. He calls himself baseball player. Some holiday shoppers, though, are using a few different terms to describe him, or at least his actions. That's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh, there's your... Uh, oh, I love it when they, 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 the neighbors... The, those who contribute nothing to the story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are they going to say? That's oh, yeah. fantastic. What's he do, this guy? <laughs> well, we're going to find out, but obviously it's something horrific. So wait, we're hearing the opinions of, of neighbors and other people before we hear the crime. Yeah. Well, I think That's it's opinions good. of shoppers. From what I got from the beginning of that shoppers. story, some holiday shoppers feel as another word. Oh, people, holiday shoppers. People he's that are standing of, on line for a Wii or something. He's getting, yeah, he's yeah. getting in the way of the commerce thing. Can we start yeah. over again? Please? I'm sorry, my, my, uh, here my we apologies. Go. Running out of show. He calls himself baseball player. Some holiday yeah. shoppers, though, are using a few different terms to describe him, or at least his actions. That's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. That's disgusting. There's obviously something, something wrong with wrong. him. According to the website <laughs> Consumerist.com, which is a Can consumerism I... blog, this yes. man is a, quote, bad consumer. Why? Because the 21-year-old college student who likes baseball and camping <laughs> also likes masturbating in the Arrowhead Town Center in Glendale. Look at these days, I tell you. <laughs> well, this guy goes to these stores and does his thing yeah. on camera. <laughs> on camera. Where are the dressing rooms? Oh. Huh? Yeah, just in the, the aisles. aisles. Yeah. How fun would that be? That's his gig, man. Let's let's learn more. The mop guy must be busy in that place. This man has posted more than 30 videos of himself masturbating in many stores. Stores like Dillard's, Walmart, and Barnes and & Noble. Hmm? But so far, neither police nor Arrowhead Mall has received one complaint. Now, though, after 3TV contacted them this morning... They've launched an investigation. Um, we are aware of the website, and we're working closely with um, Glendale Police Department to check its uh, validity. Um, but to date, we have no reports of this uh, incident. This guy rules. This guy does rule. Someone, wow. uh, someone uh, told the news about his, uh, you know, his videos online. He's just finding his internet angle. His angle is to go. That's it. He and wants to be an internet star. Him. Doing his thing in the aisles of, like, uh, big-time stores. Good for him. What do you got, Dan? Yeah, well, it's good for him the, until the, you the, bite into a Cinnabon <laughs> at the small box of the Barnes & Noble. The stills from the news story were just hysterical because uh, they had taken, obviously, still frames from his videos that he made. So it was just like you'd see some old grandma, like, you know, like looking at a towel or something in an aisle. And just his, everything below the waist has been blurred out. <laughs> I, think, I think I've actually seen footage of this guy. I saw something like that where a guy brought his own camera, obviously in a case, and he's in a library, and you could see he's like he's got sweatpants. He's just pulling the sweatpants down. He would do it for a second, and there's a fat lady in the back perusing books. It was just antisocial behavior. <laughs> yes, That's what I'm of saying. course. In my ideal world, a guy like him, good for him, would be killed. Really? Why? Yes. His rules. You don't like no. him, Colin? No, Come on. I don't. Right, let's kill him. Let's find and by the way, the whole finding time, his niche in showbiz. Let's yeah. say one thing. While we're doing this, we're talking about surreal. The whole time we're talking about this. In the background, I'm watching Montel Williams play Guitar Hero Three. Yeah, Montel. yeah, that oh, was really? a little odd. Huh. This world is finished. This is the last of the story because we got to get out of here. Police say since this morning, they believe the man has pulled all thirty of his videos off oh, the internet. Pulled the videos. Right now, they're trying <laughs> to identify him and want to figure out if there are any victims of indecent exposure. Meanwhile, holiday oh, shoppers say if they should run into the man who calls himself baseball player, they'll run faster than a real baseball great stealing home. <laughs> They always wow. like rap on little, yeah, way to wrap it up. It's, why, uh, God, that's so funny. Why couldn't she have said something funny to tie up for baseball? Like, they'll run faster than Thurman Munson from Flaming Wreckage. Uh. <laughs> You're going to go with a baseball reference. <laughs> they'll run faster than Billy Martin's forehead from a windshield in the snow. <laughs> because it's California, they're going to do those references. <laughs> oh, you're probably right. Ah, uh, yeah, not Yankee references. Well, that was a non-story. He was getting away with this. No one noticed. So we're going to continue it on uh, XM. Are you yeah. coming over, Carl? Oh, yeah. Good boy. Uh, there you go. Collins at uh, Gotham Comedy Club here in New York on 23rd Street tonight through uh, Sunday night. What? Yeah. Okay, 23rd Street tonight through Sunday night. Uh, I guess, I don't know what their website is, but Gotham Comedy Club mm -hmm. is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, tomorrow we got uh, Jason Statham 
and Guy Ritchie are in studio uh, promoting their new film, which I can't see because the publishers won't give three copies. Thank you, stupid. Shut up, you crummy idiot. I want to see the you movie. Stick at the host. Get off. I'll I'm, be I'm doing. very good. You're and terrible. Idiot. Tomorrow morning, my New Year's Eve tickets go on sale for the whatever. Get him off. He's crummy. All right. I'm not crummy. Watch why your language. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we give uh, some love to Syracuse today? Stay tuned for Alexis. Scorch. On oh. 95X. Scorch. The, the kingdom of nakedness is at yeah. another station. I don't even know where it works these days. Uh, who knows? It's all about Alexis on 95X <laughs> next. Oh, that was just, I'm sorry. I was watching it. Just a bit of root. All right. We're out of oh, here. Geez. See you guys I tomorrow. I got no place to go. Time. Don't you. Talked about her earlier. Damn. <laughs> I got a nice that. picture of her on the paper over here. It's uh, the Opie and Anthony Show on it's XM so Satellite Radio. Jimmy She's is so chomping dead. at the bit over there. What do you got, Jimmy? Well, me and Kyle were just insulting each other. Oh, it's just, they're, they're, they're just very because, hurtful. No, because Jimmy would have a great suggestion. You guys have to have my management. He's got some wild tales from his trips. And then I mentioned, yeah, let's bring my accountant in, you jackass. <laughs> yes, but, uh, see, that's Shut where you, your mouth. That's Jim. where you're wrong, though, uh, man. I've heard these stories yes, from Jonathan. He's, the guy's fucking insane. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got to be a fucking arms dealer. It's not like he's going to Vegas or, right. or, or, or to Yosemite. Yosemite, 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 Yosemite. This guy is like, he's got pictures like of African kings going by with armed guards as he's on the side of the road for the parade. He's like Jay Peterman from uh, Seinfeld. Yeah, you know that show? It's not exactly. Yeah, it's not exactly <laughs> like. A, My mate, must be bring it up again. Huh? Excuse me, he's a guy that you know. Sells 700 Sundays in Sierra Leone, so I'm really not that blown away. <laughs> well, he Sierra went, Leone. He went to uh, Mr. Corleone. <laughs> Michael Corleone. Michael Corleone. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he just travels a lot. So I just mentioned that, and as we were talking, Colin just was saying, uh, why don't you bring on your accountant? And he was dismissing me by not looking at me with his fucking awful middle finger pointed at me, yeah. which I thought was Quite definitely anger. disrespectful. Well, here's the thing about Jim. As you guys know, I spoke to you guys briefly at the Pat Cooper roast, and I said I really disgusted with Jim. And as you know, I'm only half joking when I say things like that. <laughs> yeah. And I mentioned that. Here's what bothers me about Jim. What? Okay, I've mentioned this to him before. Okay, we're in a we're in a car one day, and I'm I, I was probably zigging him. He drives me uptown in his crummy car, <laughs> non celebrity car, the fancy caddy. What are you talking about? It's, it's a caddy. The key is I drove you uptown. Camry. Obviously, it's you haven't Camry taken a ride caddy. with Jimmy in a while. Camry <laughs> caddy. It's a Camry caddy. It looks like a Camry. It feels like a Camry, and no. Nobody knows it's a caddy unless you say it. <laughs> caddy actually took the, the insignia off. But I so I get, so we're in the car, me, him, and his girl. And, you know, and so maybe I was zinging him a little hard. You forget sometimes because we're comedians and we bust balls. But when you call Jimmy, like, I kept calling him what an ugly creep and how he's worked out to look mediocre. And I forget that, like, even though we're comedians and we bust balls, probably his childhood had a lot of pain and horror, as it yes. should have. <laughs> so as it suddenly, have. here we are, me being a snide kind of idiot. His girlfriend's sitting there probably politely putting up with it. And then Jim outbursts, goes, so what about you? You act like you were at 10 when you were younger. You weren't that great looking. Just with total anger, like no, holding in this you're nonsense. No. And I was like, first of all, I never thought I was a 10. I was about a, I was a hard 7. He goes, you were fucking 6. Me, no. He actually thought I was a <laughs> no, 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 You will not make a Just monologue out of this. No. He's he, lying. He's lying. He's can lying. He's my loaded. statement. No, this because my opening statement. It's, it's a 40 monologue. minute dissertation that's not true. It's a falsehood. You're spreading falsehoods. No, it's not. I wasn't angry. Here's what Colin does. <laughs> he was does. angry at that person. Uh, believe me, I wasn't mad. Me and my girlfriend still laugh at that house. She's like, what did Colin say he was that day? I'm like, a hard seven. But he acts like, Colin acts like he's fucking 10 pounds away from the glory days. Like he was fucking. Oh, no, I don't. He, well, all right, 140. He acts like he was beautiful. <laughs> and he was not a bad looking guy. But to that's all I said. I never but thought But you, was you act looking. like you were gorgeous. But that's what I'm saying. The fact that he thinks that. But no, it's true. First of all, even if it had been true, which I, I know how I really thought. But even if I did think that. Why wouldn't you let an old man have his old delusion? Because you're not that much older than me. He screams. I didn't scream at you. The amount of anger there, and here's my other point, what? okay? Here's my other point, which I do. <laughs> what other point? You haven't made one to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's my first and only point. And he is a lot older than you. He's yeah. 10 years older I'm than me. I'm 48. Yeah. I'm 30, 39. You're yeah, nine but, years older than me. But in entertainment years, Colin is a hell of a lot older than you. Yeah. But here's what bothers me. Nothing. The fact that he's angry about <laughs> no, that. was true. <laughs> that was pretty funny, I thought. Well, I thought it was, I didn't think it was an insult, but apparently it was. Go ahead, call what? Go ahead. Yeah, I what's... don't like the fact that Jim, right after his last special, goes to the club every night because it's almost like, hey, man, I'm a gym rat. I just work at stand-up. You're a compulsive ass. Oh, okay. Take a few weeks off, shut up, and let me finish. No. Quit I'll tell you why. I'm not a gym rat. 
you think to yourself, hey, I'm a guy that just blue collar. I take my lunch pail into the club every night with your fake humility. And I'm putting a stop to it today. Right Why? Now. I don't want people. Here's Shut your face. Hold on. No, no, no. Here's You're the compulsive. Thing. Take a few weeks off and just breathe. Uh, here, I'm compulsive. Have you ever seen yourself in front of a buffet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hurtful. Of course it was. But it's not true. the reason I do it is because... It was I don't think a buffet way. I know. I couldn't think of a better way to say it. Was good. But the bottom line is I don't want people coming out after seeing the HBO special and seeing the same shit. They're going to get pissed off. It's selfish. I want to make I more money. I think what Kyle's trying to say, though, you don't, you don't seem to enjoy all the success at but times. I do enjoy the success. No, that's I love not what I'm saying. Stand -up. I'm it's trying to chore. stop any enjoyment of the success. Oh, you don't yeah. want him to enjoy it. If he has any chance of enjoying it, I'm putting a stop to it now. That's oh, really look, another chewed pen. I mean, the fucking, I bet they keep chewing the pens. You want to keep pens? I don't know. Whoever it is is going to get. What are you doing? It. Oh, he's putting it up his there ass. There you go. Whoever <laughs> chews pens, enjoy, enjoy the chewed pen. Oh, fucking God cunt. Damn it. And chew on that shit. Ew. Now wait a minute. Yes, that's shit. All right. Um, Jim, so, you have to be careful with that kind of behavior. No, I don't like. I want to do new stuff, so I was done with the set in June, and I, I started doing new stuff. I got. I don't. You don't do the same material. People come out and see me. They fucking not going to see the same act. You know what, he's cool. a little... That, I'm picking up something here. What? I don't want to completely bash uh, Jimmy. But <laughs> no, no, uh, I'm, Jump in, please. I'm picking up something. <laughs> I think Jimmy is assuming that everyone has seen the HBO special. Yeah, you're right. And no, so so no that he's got to get it. new material because when they go out, everyone that's there has seen... His uh, uh, old material. No, no one's seen it, but it's more than that. Not everyone, no. But uh, but I do think that a good amount of people will come who have seen it. Hold on. <laughs> We're trying to change the subject. Can I address my friend? <laughs> I think there's truth in yes. both. No, I don't assume everyone really has do. seen it. Believe me, I would love to be able to just live off that for another year, but you That's can't. That's not what I'm saying. What? What I'm saying is that you think you fancy think yourself... A humble gym rat that goes down to the club and just works it out. And I want you to stop coming to the club, and if I see you there again, I'm going to punch you in the snout. <laughs> well, you're never there. What are you talking about, you fucking well, lonely decide, psychopath? If I decide to go there. You know, you're writing a manifesto like fucking Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> you're never there. He's just in front of his computer, railing about technology and Jews and the fucking lesbians that run show business. <laughs> what are you talking about? How do you know where I am? <laughs> He's starting to leave the house again. He's fucking. That's right, I'm here, aren't I? You're yeah. an agoraphobic creep. You had to, because Mazzilli threatened to fire you if you didn't fucking plug. You probably had eight tickets sold. It's like, go on the radio. No one knows you're at our club. Oh, shit. But that's why he's here to plug. It's fine. The hurt that is going on over here. There's no hurt at all. It's, it's, oh. That's where you have to go out and plug when you're, on a, you're doing a gig. Oh, do you believe this idiot's trying to act like Mr. Pragmatic? Shut your but mouth right now. But it's the truth. It's reality. Uh, I'm, yeah. I am a very pragmatic, which I think means realistic, <laughs> guy. I'm not exactly sure what pragmatic means. Colin, what's Hopefully going on? Hopefully it means yeah. fun and joyful. <laughs> what's going on with Colin? Uh, well, uh, actually what Jimmy's saying is semi-correct in that I have been writing my manifestos. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they're not really against anything in particular. It's just basically it's a compilation. You know, I have like, what happened was I got ahead of myself psychologically and wrote thousands and thousands of pages. So my apartment looks a little bit like Kaczynski is a high... <laughs> A little bit like Beautiful Mind. <laughs> yeah. So they're just notes yeah. stuck to the walls with strings <laughs> connecting bits yes. together. And, yeah. And that's the problem. So I've been trying to organize it, but it's very difficult. I wish I had like a, you know, I fantasize about having like a really efficient Asian like assistant, you know. Oh. Yes, in stockings and of course yeah. the other part of it. Yes, in mail. You know. <laughs> but I'm just, it's, that's what I've been going on with me, you know. Why don't you get yourself a trapper keeper? I used to use those to organize when I was a trapper. Or the five second don't book <laughs> but I got like so many you know what I mean I was like thousand. it is like it's gone it's gone a little out of my control and yeah, what is this thing gonna be a book well, it's someday? like ten books it's just so many things it's, a, it's too many pages of things wow are you being serious for once yes 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 yeah, so you weird. just sit you just sit there and, and you, you're typing away no, his I don't like is I just go to OB like I his OB like so you got all the stuff like yeah you're really trying to like I was like yeah OB understands it's like I got him and he goes you being serious like yeah he goes well, it's, it was weird it's it's weird, <laughs> weird. When, it's weird when you get serious Colin oh I thought you meant you're, it was weird very, that I have all my thousands you're of very, pages you're very protective. Yes, you we are. We only see one side of you, the sarcastic side. We don't get to see the real we sweet Colin. We don't get Colin. to see the sweet Colin. You have well, a big fat shell around you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like... <laughs> I picture you crying alone in your apartment oh. some nights. No, not really crying, you know. There's a lot more anger than me. Yeah. Than, uh, Chewing the inside of his mouth like a coke addict. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more, you know. We're just trying like, to see other sides of you today. I can't imagine myself... 
Yeah, this is kind of an intervention. You you didn't realize what you stepped into. Well, today. I'm just trying to say, like, I'm not really. I don't see myself as hurting myself before really damaging a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of other people. <laughs> sure. My own analysis of it, you know. Really, just, you don't like when I was in your thirtieth floor apartment and he steps over the rail and he's kind of hanging on and letting go for a second. You Did you really? Yes, that. he was. That's cool. Yes, he was. Thirty-six and, floor and, and doing like the eh, oh, yes. where, where you let go, fall backwards, and then grab the rail. All right, Colin, that's well, I've a problem. Been like that. That's a bit no, of a problem. No, I used to do that that's on cool. Top Crowd. I'd lean out the window and hang on. From what? The fucking, the, on the set? 17th floor? No, the, oh. uh, the office on the 17th floor. Why would you wait, do wait, that? Wait, wait, wait. you slow down a minute? That's crazy. Whose apartment was this? His. My so apartment. you have an outdoor space? He's a balcony. Balcony. Okay. And he was on the outside of the railing? Yes, he stepped outside the railing and he's like, let go for it. Not going back that far. That's because hilarious. The arm still, he's just what were you hoping for? A really good reaction from your friends? Well, you know yeah. what I was hoping like for? Like Butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> he, was hoping to, uh, he was hoping a stray pigeon would come by and <laughs> yeah. jar me. And snip at his you eye. Were, you were hoping oh. for an ounce of care from, from Jim Norton. That's the last thing you gets... see is a smiling Jim Norton yeah, like, looking over the railing. <laughs> that's how Colin gets love. He can't just say, I need some love. He has to hang on to a rail so we'll all go, no, don't. Like He wants, us to, he wants the value of having everyone okay, appreciate the fact that he's... Somehow he's turning <laughs> my great beginning analysis. <laughs> this what was your beginning analysis? Analysis. About you. Well, well it's and suddenly it's turn around about me. So what? That's the way life is. Turn about is fair play. Why, I always <laughs> say. And why would you? And you would hang <laughs> out. Self talk. You would hang out the window. Yeah, but that's that was easy. I don't remember. That's that. such a small part of the manifesto. I can't even believe we're discussing it. That's nothing to me. But you could have. You do understand. You could have. Nah. Fallen. Nah. To your death. Yes, but anything and, can happen. What? But th that didn't bother you, or. How far did he lean back before you grabbed hold again? Doesn't uh, matter. Not, not just far. stepping. Just, but that just, doesn't matter. Just the act of doing it. Dude, I would be freaked it, it, out it, stepping on the other side of the rail, yeah. holding on oh. tight. But some people are also very scared of heights. Like Bobby Kelly's been over my house a couple times, and he goes on the balcony. Don't, don't push me. You know, it's like no, he's afraid the balcony is going to fucking just crack <laughs> under his weight, <laughs> as he should be. You better off backing a steamroller onto your fucking balcony, <laughs> letting Bob step onto it. Yeah. He's scared that he's going to go right through that railing with yes. a slight push. He's scared, and the balcony is also scared. <laughs> they look at each other with a mutual understanding. Just look over me from inside. <laughs> I'll do what I can for you, kid. But <laughs> While I'm stepping on that balcony, it'd be like an elephant stepping onto a piece of tracing paper. Sure. <laughs> Poor Bob. Not Fuck here poor defend, Bob. Right not here to defend himself. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck poor Bob with a black cock right in his mouth. That's what I say to Bob. <laughs> Fucking juicy lips. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking grab his head and fuck his throat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got Colin laughing. Or is he crying? Who knows? Uh, Are you crying? Laughing? What do you got over there, Colin? Just an elephant of Tracy's baby. Yeah, okay, it's very you. good. I don't think it'll hold him. <laughs> Tracy paper. So you're going to be a Gotham, Colin? Yeah. But what about the manifesto? I need to organize your system. What are you trying to do? Yeah, right? what like, is I it? I don't know. Is it like a huge is book? It, no, is it a book everything. about your life? It's everything. It's everything. It's then start books. writing a blog. You, are you a blogger? Books. No. I blogged for a couple of days. It was boring. Well, then why don't you fucking stop being such an isolated homo and fucking get someone to help you straighten it out and sell it? Yeah, why the isolation? I don't know. Uh oh, we are getting the serious, Colin. Yeah, he's we're breaking back away down. from the mic. Colin's depressed, I think. That's my are you theory. Depressed? My are theory you? is he hasn't told me that, but I theorize he's a little depressed. Sell some drugs. What? <laughs> the, the Suffolk County solution. In <laughs> <laughs> Nassau, my friend. Um, I know, but where you from? Aren't you from? Uh, yeah, Ronkonkoma? I'm from Suffolk. Where are you from? Ronkonkoma? Huntington. Oh, he's no, changing. not Ronkonkoma. He's changing the subject to where you're from. That's never good. I'll go right back to it. Go uh, ahead. Are you depressed? Why are you depressed? No, I'm actually coming out of depression, but I was depressed you for a couple years. You see, you seem uh, way better than the last time I saw you. Thank you, exactly. I'm dead I serious. Like I'm what... being serious now. I'm agreeing with you. You I had said, a, like thank a you. you had a, like a distant <laughs> Jesus Christ. You had a distant look in your eyes for a while there. You yes. don't I don't see that today. Yeah. Thousand yards right. there. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't see that today. Were you? That's right. Yeah. Did you name yeah, your fucking it. computer Charlene? <laughs> <laughs> about anything? <laughs> Full metal jacket. Yeah. Anything in particular or just one of those uh, chemical imbalance depressions? No, I think I was just depressed in general. A lot of yeah. stuff. You know? I don't know. I don't think it was chemical. You find yourself sleeping late? No, no. Not like, I always sleep no? late. You know? How did My you get out life. of the depression? Just kind of just, you know, just facing it. You know, I mean, I've been going to therapy for many years anyway, but yeah. work, working yeah. out and stuff. No, obviously not. How could you ask that? that? No. <laughs> Why don't you ask him if he's fucking painted his face black? <laughs> Jesus, open. He's obviously not. No, no, just I'll say something else. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to say something else. It looks like he did lose a few pounds. That's why I asked that. Thanks, Hope. 
did you? What do you think of that? I, I'm not going to bad mouth. I said just look at that three years of working out and no <laughs> definition whatsoever. But I understand that. I, 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 shut up. By the way, I said, over, no definition. Bag open. No I definition. said a few. I said a few, not a lot, by the way. Yeah. yeah. You want to feel the guns? I can look right here, and I'm telling you. I, I agree, actually. I, I have been kind of swinging in the wind there, fucking working out, hoping for a little definition. But I can't stop eating. It's, it's your eating difficult. habits. I know it is. Yeah. It's not the food. No. Uh, so, <laughs> so what? You just started living your life again? Like, no, I still haven't started living my life, but I've been depressed. But I've just been working on certain things. But you know, so it's a lot of stuff. Has, you know, I mean, I hate to even talk about it because it, it really is about the manifesto. I hate to say it, but it really is. Yeah, you know, and so that's been a big part of it. You know, is 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 uh, the manifesto? Is it your life? Is it some fiction? Is it like what's I don't know. It's a it? bunch of different things, but it's just different disorganized. Things. You know, like you would just w what wake up in the middle of the night and go, "Hey, let me type away here," and like, are you some ideas are just spill out of you. Yeah, and also my my divorce was a big thing, but I oh know, I didn't realize it at the time. I was oh, like, I forced shit. it to happen, but you know. Do what you mean? back up your fucking stuff on computers, stupid or no? Oh boy! What's wrong with him? Yeah, I just—I had this vision. This guy's opening up here. I'll, I'll tell you the why. Backup I had this because I had this vision of him writing for years, yeah. and and he's such a losing it and one losing power it all. surge. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, do you back it up? Of course, I okay. Everything. Don't say of course. Back like that you're, shit like you're savvy. Up. So you ne never got okay. over the divorce? No, but I think that affected me greatly. Oh, uh, why? I'm over it because it had to. Ugh. Stupid well, wives. Because Carl was in love. Oh, oh was least, that it? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in a miserable but you marriage. Know, yeah, in, but if it was, was a short misery. marriage. Yeah. Was oh, a short, he wasn't married for a long time. It was a short one. Oh, it was a short one. man. I was and living do, for a while. Do you see, like, that, uh, was it your fault, do you think? <laughs> I don't think you could find anybody in the world that could say it was anything but my fault. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. That's There's bad. no... I literally left her no choice. It's a hundred percent no choice. <laughs> if, if there's a hundred percent of anything, in the do you world, want to share? Get it off your chest? Wow! Or no? I just literally left it like she had no choice but to leave. Like what type of things were you doing that a woman would not enjoy or want to be around? Well, or? He is the ultimate thing. What I really did in the long run to chase her away was cheated on her and then told her, I'm not saying I'm going to not cheat again. <laughs> oh All right. All right. Who do you think that's, you are, Gene Simmons? <laughs> that's pretty much 100%. Wow. You yeah. know, I, I was waiting for the explanation of 100%. He just nailed it. Yeah. There's you not can't. a better definition wow. of 100% than that right there. You really there. are forcing a person to be pushing them right out of there. Yeah, if you would have, like, begged and said, oh, I'm sorry, I, I absolutely wouldn't do this again, then you could say, then, all right, at least you tried. Yeah. There might be a glimmer of hope. But like, when you yeah, say, yeah, exactly. you might go to therapy and figure this out together. Exactly. But, but when but you say... Uh, if you, or if it's, like, 1973, it's me and Kevin Klein in the ice storm, you know, <laughs> standing there in our jackets. Honey, it's a swinging world. <laughs> but, yeah, I just left it no choice, you know? Wow. And that bothers you? Well, it bothers me because, you know, yeah, it, bo it does bother me a little then bit. Then why'd, uh, why'd you cheat? Well, at the time, it didn't bother me. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you realized that you really blew it. And this was a, yeah, yeah, was really good. I have to say my work, the things I've been working on are just the fact that I've written certain amounts of shows and certain amounts of movies that don't get done, that are really like what should be done. And I just feel like they're going to end up doing crummy versions of it eventually. It really makes me so angry. Yeah. About show business, I can't even. I can't even talk about. I can't jokingly talk about the level of fury that I feel about it. Yeah. And I know that relative to a six-year-old like a Sudanese child, my problems mean nothing. <laughs> to me, they're actually it. more important. <laughs> That's where we differ. <laughs> but compared to the people that I know do certain things or get certain success, it just I can't help it. I, I know it's the I know it's the cliche of bitterness, but I know that my work it all should be done. I prove I prove it every time I do do get some things. Dude, I just want to burn down about eight networks <laughs> and kill about for five thousand people. Same crap happens to us in this radio I, business, I, man. It, it's amazing that how 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 hard they make this. How yeah. hard they make this. Opie, we have a show. Yeah, Opie. See, see the <laughs> one difference is you guys have a show. See, well, we have without a getting show. It, without getting into detail, trust me, we can relate. Can I Let's say, just put it that way? And I, I think what Colin needs, my opinion, because Colin told me other management problems he had. Is I think you need a fucking good manager. That's what I think. Because this stuff is really fucking. Colin's good. very funny, very smart, clever guy, and and the the idea that yeah, for years. Uh, you, you're throwing your stuff out there, yeah. and these fucking uh. like pieces of shit 
get on TV, get TV shows, uh, a huge tours, whatever the fuck it is. It's like there's no justice in the business, but hey, wait. it's not like there was supposed to be, though. But I, I know some examples happened. of some great stuff, though. Who's your caddy? The Caveman series is terrific. Exactly, but I don't think the Jim's uh, answer is correct. Oh, oh. I'm not going to. My answer is not getting Commander McBrag with him. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'll tell you why I said that. Shut up and let the laugh finish. Oh, you're right. <laughs> McBrag, that's right. a big laugh. It was a. Better war, me, Roger, and Billy. And Jack Rollins. My yes. goodness, what did you do, McBrag? <laughs> well, I pulled out a toothpick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it was during the making of License to Wed, so of course we <laughs> shot in Mozambique, as you know, because it's the finest hunting in the lab. <laughs> that one time, Carl. <laughs> Shut up. And let All right, I stopped. One time, Carl, License to Wed? What are you trying to defend your company? Shut the fuck no, up. I, let us laugh at the shit they put out. I don't even <laughs> know what you're you talking about. I, oh! I, I swear to God, I don't know who Commander McBrag is. I swear to God, really? I don't I know. Believe. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. But I was saying, me and Kyle were talking one time, and he was talking about his manager at the time being annoying. Cause he's oh, like, he's supposed to be the manager. But, but you know, yeah. I ask him, he's got more sense. <laughs> Whoa. You mean if I don't get my script sold, I lose $15,000? That's right. Oh! oh. <laughs> so I fucking... Coffee? <laughs> In a minute. Bring me the coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he was complaining about his fucking manager, and he's going trying to get his manager to push harder for his scripts, and you need somebody that fucking said, this is a great script and is a fucking animal and fucking makes the calls and pushes through. Not somebody that's fucking wishy-washy with it. To me, that's mm. important. Wishy-washy. Oh, you don't yeah, want I mean, it's you true. You got a wishy-washer? Yeah. It's the I truth. I don't have any badge or any agent right now. But exactly. Wow. Two years. That's silly. No, no it's not. No, guys. It is. Let me tell you something. Please. I would write a... I, I would write. I would read a Colin Quinn book. So you got to find your angle. Well, I mean, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you I'm write about pop culture? Do you write about your life? Do you write about, I write about every day. stand up? Every yeah, day. but you got to find like some kind of angle. He talks about it. You, in, here's, in what you, here's what Colin's book should be. It should be you. Here should be the photo. Should be you, like sitting in front of a computer with like a bunch of like papers piled up and your hands in the air, like what the hell, folks? <laughs> and, and the book should be called Colin Quinn, and then it should be calling after it Hodgepodge. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that in my CD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that awful? What an awful picture you've just conjured up. Hodgepodge, and he's in front of oh, a whole bunch of papers. Oh, we don't know what it's about, ladies and germs. See, I'll tell I you. I would throw really that on the floor and step on Colin, it. Colin, your problem is you got friends like him. You know that, right? Yeah. You don't help. I'm, I'm very no help supportive. Whatsoever. They don't help. I'm a, I'm a big... No help. No I'm help. very helpful. That's not true. No, you're not. Your lips are awful. <laughs> you're not helping. You know, fucking see. burn victim lips. See, how, how's that going to help you, Colin? <laughs> he knows that it's not. It's irrelevant. <laughs> Not only that, but I you like hang out with the wrong crowd. I like the hodgepodge idea with me and the turtleneck, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Hodgepodge. It's a green turtleneck, and you have a red sweater vest over it. And you release it around Christmas, and there's like this tinsel around you no, too. No, you don't release it around Christmas, and I'm still wearing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. There's tinsel on you, and it's August fourth. <laughs> and it's it hands up in the air. Yeah. Forward is by Garrison Keillor or somebody. <laughs> hodgepodge. Like hodgepodge. It's just a mishmash of things. Oh, never. See? Well, I'm putting on a CD, American Gangster. I told you. <laughs> American <laughs> gagster. <laughs> American gagster. <laughs> it takes my eyes superimpose my picture in Denzel's face when I post her. <laughs> no, you're right. They don't help. So you're they leaving your house yeah. more. Are you going on the road to do a little? No, comedy? I've been on the road this whole time. I mean, I, uh, you canceled Florida. What was that about? When? Well, mm -hmm. we got spies everywhere. Jesus, I didn't cancel Florida. Let's go to Tim in Florida. Tim. Hey, Colin. Yeah, you know, I was going to sit through awful. Christian Finnegan and that Rosie O'Donnell replacement, Caroline Ray, to see you in, in Lakeland, and you canceled. No, I didn't cancel. They canceled that gig. Oh, did they? That's yeah, so. sorry, yeah. Ugh. Why? That was like last week. Yeah, you got to come back to Florida. But they didn't cancel because of, the, I guess, lack of tis ticket sales or something. <laughs> did you guys go on the radio and promote? You got to get out there. Shut your mouth, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> there, there really is no support base with the uh, people that you yeah. know and hang out with. The, the comic, no, they comics are the worst. They are the worst. Colin, no, we're not. Yeah. No, no, you're terrible. Colin, the truth is, I was always very, you know, you should move. You should move and yeah. change your name. I'm done with that. Move and change your name. What? 
You think so? Yeah. Get away from these well, guys. Well, I actually have an idea for They're a name that's kind of hip. Ken Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you, good. What are you going to do, weather? <laughs> pretty good. I don't know if it's action hero name. Fresno. Ken Fresno. That is instantly a new name on and, the message board. And, and now, Ken Fresno. And now with your five-day forecast, it's Ken Fresno. Well, he had names for me and Voss, too. Yeah. Uh, like, well, what the names we should tour under, and mine was Little Pete Ferguson. <laughs> this is Little Pete Ferguson and Voss. Was, is this the perfect name for Voss? Ronnie Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he has to go the rat tail back. He has to go the rat tail back. <laughs> and I, and Keith, I had names for Keith. What the hell is Keith? Well, man? yeah. Oh. Starts with an N. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's one word. <laughs> you got to leave this negativity behind. Yeah, what do you mean we've been too, you've been too supportive of us? We're all supportive of you. What are you talking about? Shut Every up. interview I do, I talk about you. Shh. No, I won't shush. I'm no. going to finish my point. That's what Voss says. I support you on every radio. Sh shut up. What's well, Voss? No one listens to Voss. <laughs> no one can understand him. There's no. I don't yeah, care Voss that you. I don't care that you say positive things about me when you positive talking things. You fucking page mumbling fuck zonk. knuckle in uh, you know Butte, Montana, <laughs> doing your shitty game. Positive things. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. This is Voss. I know. Listen, to, him, listen to the two of them. Well, what the ball guy was hanging off a rail like thirty six stories. I know. Those fucking awful sea bass stomach fish hands. By the way, you fucking. By the way, fucking little. Fishy sea bass they're belly hands just, make me sick. They're awful to each other. Yeah, that's that they're doesn't help. Things. You two are horrible to each other. And you know, Jerry Springer says every day, "Be nice to each other." Yeah, yeah. he really we does. Know that. that redeems the whole show, as far as oh, I'm concerned. Of course, be nice to each other. You, the how about this? How about what? this is gonna be a challenge for both of you? How about you say something nice about each other? Who wants to start? We say plenty of nice things about. We each say other. lots of nice things. We certainly do. All right. How about one? Colin, why don't you start? Something um, nice about you, me. Sincere. I thought that uh, Jill Al, Jim's <laughs> last HBO special was even funnier when he did the when he did it. You know, the first HBO special was funny. The second one he just did was even funnier when he did the same thing the second time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't see. Okay. Oh, shit. Holy shit! See, they can't it's, do it. No, I know. They can't do it. I want to say something nice it. to Colin. All right. All right. Um, One nice thing, Jimmy. I I I, uh, <laughs> I I saw your first HBO special, and. Oh, wait, there was no second one. <laughs> All right, I better move on. <laughs> See? <laughs> but I know he was trying to say something nice because halfway through he realized it. He goes, Oh, wait. These guys are scared. Of the <laughs> These guys are scared to show real feelings. That's not true. We do all the time. All right, then, Colin, do. back to you. One nice thing about Jimmy. We're going to get this done today. Okay. Um, that Jimmy doesn't have AIDS after all the sexual encounters. <laughs> and I'll say this: if Colin was killed in a fire, I would be bothered. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'll say this: <laughs> they, they hide behind their laughter. <laughs> These guys can't show a, a real. If Jimmy novice. is killed in an uprising during one of his management meetings. Okay. <laughs> in Paraguay. <laughs> in Paraguay, of all places. <laughs> <laughs> the great white hunter with Buana. His, his agent Buana. Ah, <laughs> oh, you too. Well, not, that's not true. I think that we say a lot of nice things. We I, say I just think nice comics, comics are really incapable of, of, of yeah. sharing sincere emotion with each other sure. You'd be without having to throw You'd in be surprised a, a, a zinger. Mm. You'd be surprised what Jim Atazoa is uh, capable <laughs> of emotion was. Jim Atazoa? <laughs> <laughs> equating him with yeah, some type yeah. of sperm. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I don't know what. I, I bet you the, this is Jim like that. Jim sleeps in a Petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think that these guys cannot do it. That's not true. Well, well let's take. What have we told you and Anthony to do it? He was exactly. doing it. I said it all the time. What? What do you say? I love you, man. Like a Budweiser commercial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got to be like the punch on the arm. You can never just be sweet. We've definitely said nice things about each other yeah. uh, on the air. You guys cannot do it on the air. Sure, we can. Yeah, we Colin, can. back to you. Sure, sure we can. One nice thing about Jimmy, and then we could go back to trashing each other. Jimmy is a. a, a a very, very uh, smart, funny comic, and really uh, brought a new, whole, new, refreshing, uh, you know, mindset to comedy. Oh, stop there. Oh, yeah. Stop <laughs> there. I know you're chomping. <laughs> I'm He's not chomping. Chomping. I'm He's chomping. 
and I will say something nice about Colin. Oh, okay. He is he is perceptive, and and uh, <laughs> he is. <laughs> Good at speaking the truth about funny guys. <laughs> no, come on, how many good things I love Colin? He's the funniest guy Colin, I know. I, mean, I, I fucking said that a million Colin times. Colin is playing along, Jimmy. Come on. This but will no, help Colin Quinn. He's in Colin, deep but, depression here. But Colin knows that. <laughs> Colin. <laughs> there's, there's, not, oh, there's not an interview I do, regardless of the Shut size up. of the paper, where I don't say, when they say... About comedy and stuff, I say Colin's the funniest guy in the business. I, I always say that. He's the guy that I've makes me that. laugh. I've read he that. He makes me laugh harder than I've anybody else doing stand up comedy. Yeah. I say that. that all the time. Now I got to say this. I hate you guys because you ruined our bit. But we no, we, we, we could continue rolling. with this for another 10 minutes. But no, we, we wasted uh, a lot of you know, time you know, on this. It's going to be fucking vile again. I mean, what, you, what, just gonna, it's going to be a love fest. I, I'm looking at his hands. I, I want to fucking bite them. <laughs> what's wrong with my hands? They're fucking horrendous. In the, in the break, we said this because he was giving me the finger and, and that fucking that liver spotted foot he holds up out of his sleeve. It looks like fucking olive loaf. I, I want to put your, your fucking hand between two pieces of white bread and watch Fat Bob Kelly eat it out of a plastic baggie. <laughs> see, they both, see, they had to go back into the safe zone. Yeah. No, I people are no, really safe. listening to this, how like it's such un, it's so uncomfortable it for was? them to say something nice that they had to get right back into trash. It was awkward and uncomfortable when yeah. they had to compliment each so other. So they have to go right and back. And now it's all just going back to it. It's all fun. Maybe Jim was, but I was happy to just sit oh, here and I never left guy, it. Jim was. Believe me, I never left it. It was only on pause while I said something nice. All I do is hit play again. <laughs> say, of course we're going to say awful things about each other. Nobody wants to hear two comedians being Colin, nice. You're it, terrific. I don't think it was you right too. That, <laughs> I don't think it was right that Bob Kelly got dragged into it about the pimento loaf. Neither did I. I pulled my back out and I pulled that pig anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is that's just ignorant. Fat you're fat you're supposed to slice those things. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is very healthy for Colin. Uh, <laughs> this is a very healthy uh, hour. For Colin I want to somehow see or read this uh, manifesto. I want to read see it on something. TV or in the movies or what, whatever the hell you do. I know. With it. I think it's going to be like you know, Colin. You can take a break from show business. This is what you do. You get. A what book. do you mean you can take a break from <laughs> show business? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, oh man! Sign your book deal. Get a fucking book out there. Promote the shit out book. of it. Why but, not? but just. Oh. But promote the shit. I do book signings. It'll be a great experience for because you. Because I'm not like some of these guys that just, you know, you constantly see them pushing their books and their dumb CDs and their specials constantly doing every stupid you thing. They'll do a line in a shitty big action movie. Just, you know, I'm not like that. Open. Absolutely I'm to do real, not. But you got to do real work. They'll be in Spider-Man 5. They don't give a damn. I'm trying to do real work. Well, we don't people. all have right. Crocodile Dundee 2 to fall back on. Oh. I'm saying that. Oh. That's fucking, like, I had... <laughs> if he kills himself today, it's going to be on your uh, head. Colin's going to you're right. Colin's going to be on your head, Jimmy. I didn't can't. mean it. No, that was, was, a, that was a Paul Hogan story. You don't like, you don't like self-promoting, do you? Why? No, that's Would not you the point. Would you if you had that? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you like self-promoting, Colin? No, it's not a it's question of, of self-promoting. But it's part of your thing. Like, you got to tell no, people where you are. No, I can't organize. No, I have no problem with, uh, with that. I, I look. Stand-up wise, I, mean, I have no problem with self-promoting. I'm just saying right now, getting all my other stuff together is very, it's out of control. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's all these papers and these fucking You need files. organization somehow. I need to somehow get it out. It's Colin's too there. mean. That's the problem. It's in the computer yeah. and it's in everything. It's hard. You know? well, you, you, if someone tries to help Colin, will give you, hey, man, I know someone who can help you organize and back stuff up. He'll go, shut your mouth. <laughs> No, yeah. That's not what it is. Nobody ever, believe me, he's making up now. Yeah. I've never said to me, hey, Carl, I know so. Well, I never knew the until now. I didn't know any, you had a whole pile of papers, very, you fucking psycho. You, you, you got I a very. You were sitting there like a you fucking pack out today. rat. You got a very protective wall around you, Carl. Uh, exactly, yeah. and it's made of blubber, too. <laughs> I remember Fucking lamp oil. I remember one time trying to have a moment with him. I'm like, you know, you haven't been on the show in a while. Why don't you come in and uh, you know do our show? And he goes, shut up. I'm like, all right, have a good day. Hey, Colin, have where you been? <laughs> shut your mouth. Right. In case of a blackout, I'm going to put a wick in you and light it. <laughs> What does that mean? He's, just, he's, he's implying that, like a whale, you would have some type of blubber that would be uh, workable in a lamp. <laughs> like lamp oil. That's a good one. Um, that was a good one. But no, I, I knew you wrote, but I didn't know you had a pile of papers that were disorganized. You just, you just said that. I said you've been writing mm. for two years. Yeah. I've been writing mm. for a long time. Wow. Thanks. But, you know, I'll do what I do. I don't know. It's hard to get it organized. That's all I know. 
And then to get it out there somehow. Yeah. Somehow get it out but there. It's mostly the organization. You know, it's like yeah. everything's uh. like finished, but it's like first draft. And I just, you know. All right, let's go to Lonnie. So why don't you have somebody, hold, why don't you have somebody go through your computer, honestly? Is it all on the computer? It's Yeah, but it's, I'm telling you, it's thousands and thousands of pages of shit. So have Not somebody, here's what you do back it up onto a fucking, here's how simple this is. You buy an external drive from Mac. A, a lacy drive. I'll help you hook it up. Bob Kelly would probably be more qualified to. Probably. All right, he would be. <laughs> you have somebody on a backup drive, so you don't have to do it. They don't have to be fucking with your computer. Take everything and somehow organize it. If it takes them a month, it takes them a month. But have them do it the best they can. And there are mm -hmm. people who will be able to do it through word searches and stuff. Fucking organize your stuff a lot faster well, than you think. going to use that kind of profanity. I don't want to be. Involved. I don't mean to, but that's good though. It's not, it's, it's, you, you, right now, you're putting fucking sausages on a bagel. <laughs> With Let's egg go yolk. To Let's go to Ralph in North Carolina. <laughs> right. It's uh, Lonnie. If you should see what he's eating right now, why don't you just fucking... I, I, th I had no reference. All right. So I bailed out. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie! It, it was a heart attack no. reference, and then I realized, why don't you just... Good. Hold on. <laughs> Stupid is eating a fucking open-faced bagel with, with, with eggs dripping and yolks and a fucking sausage. And as he tipped it, the egg fell onto his hand, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> But that was a safe. <laughs> What's up, Lonnie? Hey, He's just filling up loneliness. Jimmy. Yes. Hey, uh, do you and Colin live together? Because you sound like an old married couple. No, we don't. <laughs> Y'all guys should uh, live together. Well, like this is how we interact. This is why Colin's a piece of shit. I'm talking <laughs> to him. I'm having a heartfelt talk with him. Cause I, I, I did the Gene Simmons roast. And I never hired anybody to write for me before. But I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of comedians on the roast. I wanted to get the, com the perspective of a comic, and, and fucking, I'll pay him. I don't know how much to pay. My friend Kurt, and stupid Kurt, gives me two pages, like one the day before and the one the day of fucking lazy Kurt. So fucking, uh, they were funny jokes, though. So I get them, and I'm like, Colin, like, I'm talking to him about it. And on the elevator, he goes, you know, I, I don't want to humiliate you in front of everybody, <laughs> but I've never hired anybody to ride for me. <laughs> wow. In front of the whole elevator, I had to justify myself. So I tried to have, like, a nice, <laughs> ask a guy who's been around for years to fucking help me out with a piece of advice. And help me out of here, Hendry. Hendry. And I've been around for years on my own two feet, not Kurtz. Mm. That's true. Kurtz. My buddy Kurt. Kurt Metzger is a funny writer. Oh. He's a funny yeah. comic. All right, let's go to James and James. But as Carl says, he looks like a Bosnian war criminal. That could be the best slam I've heard about a comic. <laughs> it's true. He really is horrendous. He fucking called him a Bosnian war criminal. And he has a big head with short, awful black hair. He's truly awful. He sends shivers up people's spines when he goes on stage. <laughs> Look, they're working together now. This is good. This is good. See? Because they have a common enemy yeah, yeah, for a second right. or two. Let's go to James in Jersey. James. Holy, where, where, where the fuck did Kenny get this omelet? He's right behind you. Now you Kenny gets wow, dragged Heather Mills into leave the... this on the kitchen floor? <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Do you want another one? I'll go back. It's okay. Where's the ketchup? Am I supposed to fucking do bleed onto it? Where's the ketchup? How about... Kenny, you got my... <laughs> Hold on a second. Jimmy Thank really you. is like Lamada. I'm not like Lamotta because I want ketchup. I'm like Lenny from Mice and Men. I'm supposed to bleed on I want you. fucking ketchup. Tell him about the message I gave you. I text message you and Kenny after your special, stupid. Oh, uh, so <laughs> he, he said that the worst part of me shooting a special is that me and Kenny were probably sitting there together, like having a serious Afterwards, moment. Afterwards, they just like, yeah. Looking at each other. Well, don't tell me to tell and then fucking jump in and interrupt me. <laughs> Why didn't while you, you want to ruin it? I'm not ruining it. <laughs> fucking just have the stroke while you're eating that. You've never seen anybody have a worse fucking meal. Than he is right now. Just give fucking me the gulls are more polite in the dump <laughs> than you are eating that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you should be circling a garbage scow. <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs> uh, I almost had him on the same page, Dan. I almost had him. <laughs> Colin, just give me, just leave me the password to your computer so I can make you famous in your, in your death. Yeah, posthumously. Yeah, uh, posthumously. Right. Hey, uh, James Jersey, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. hey. Hey, uh, Colin, um, I was wondering if you were uh, really bitter or upset when uh, you got, when you used to do Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live and uh, they replaced you. I wonder if that, you know, that really depressed you or that really bothered you when that happened? Well, that, yeah, I mean, that bothered, <laughs> I just saw a picture of card. Yeah, that pissed me off, too. Okay, Be no, I, th I thought you were pretty good. I mean, Norm McDonald was great at it. And, yeah. Uh, I remember being really upset when they, uh, when they fired him. I thought that was total crap. Yeah. I don't like the way you said to Colin, you were pretty good. And I remember Norm Macdonald was great. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. <laughs> kick a guy while he's down? Yeah, that's not going to help nothing. Colin today by saying that, sir. 
Oh, all right. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> so Kyle, hold on. Colin, what he said to me in the message was very funny. He texted me. He said the worst part is that me and Kenny were probably sitting there after the thing. And do you want to say what you did? Because I probably, I will fucking butcher the quote, but it was very funny. <laughs> now he tells they, them to they tell the story. They clicked. <laughs> Why did you wait for him to have a <laughs> mouthful of food, well, no, Jimmy? Because the, if, if, if not, really what am I going to do until him? 3 in the morning <laughs> and he finally falls asleep? <laughs> <laughs> I said they... <laughs> <laughs> I said they sat in the dressing room and clicked glasses together and goes, hey, man, we did it. <laughs> and clicked glasses together. Oh. Oh. Can you redo that as, what was his name, Ken Fresno? <laughs> Ken Fresno. Ken Fresno. Ken Fresno. Ken Fresno. The other character action movie is Rick Lucite. <laughs> that dude, do you know how you had, if, if that is what I think it is, I'm going to fucking... I'm gonna spit on you. <laughs> oh shit! What? Okay, that's not. Okay. What? What? I I thought I saw something right on top of the microphone. I said if he got fucking ketchup on top of the microphone, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking spit on him. But he didn't. Uh, let's say hi to Keith and Lou. Oh, thank God, Louisville. Uh, Kenny Keith. Fresno needs a catchphrase. Yeah. though. Because Kenny Fresno hey, would have you. to say his name yeah. on stage. <laughs> hey, Colin, I really love that show you had on uh, Comedy Central where you used to bring uh, Bob Kelly and all of them on. Whatever, how, how did that, why did that end all of a sudden? And I thought it'd be better if you guys got it on, like, HBO where you could, you know, get a little a little more raw language. Mm. It would have been, but HBO didn't want to do it. Oh. They don't like, uh, a lot of people don't like the uh, agenda that we bring. Well, yep. the other thing was I couldn't figure out why they couldn't afford to get you a chair. You always were half cocked on that desk. I like when you lean against the pool table or something. So these idiots could slam my awful legs. <laughs> yeah, that was a crime that that show got. Yes, uh, it was. It was disgusting. Oh my God! <laughs> it's me and Kyle. That is the worst. <laughs> just, that just is. eating. <laughs> Uh, yeah, feel, that was awful that that got taken off. There's no no uh, reason for it. No you know reason. Uh, you know well, funny? There was a political reason. <laughs> well, also, That's we got some sure. complaints, because I think it's, they were rerunning us the next day at 7, and then The Daily Show, they were rerunning at 7.30. And I think in that, and again, The Daily Show was a, was a bigger show, but our ratings were actually higher than The Daily Show at, at, in those reruns. It's, it, and again, I'm not saying The Tough Crowd was bigger than The Daily Show, but it was fucking a very watched show. Yeah, it was. And they got some complaints yep. about content, and they yanked it. And me and Penn, we had that argument uh, in the other, you know, a few weeks ago, yeah. where he was talking about Bill Donahue in the Catholic League, and he was going, the things they did to Matt and Trey like in South Park. And But what that made me think of is, Comedy Central proved that when you back a show, like they've backed South Park, and you, you stand up against that bullshit, the fuck, it, it, now, it's the biggest show they've ever yeah. had. And they've gotten com uh, complaints, they've gotten... Uh, 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 protests Threats and, of, of boycotts, yeah. And it's the biggest yeah. show they ever had because the network stood behind it. Mm -hmm. So that's, I guess, the point I'm making. They didn't like the idea that uh, you discussed race. Yeah. They, and and uh, meanwhile, uh, Chappelle's show, which was, you know, they were ready to just yeah. back a fucking tanker full of, of money over to him. Uh, that was nothing but racial humor. Well, I mean, that's all. Everybody knows. Everybody in the, in the country knows that... White people are not supposed to discuss race except from the mm -hmm. point of, of apologizing. Uh -huh. Yeah, or, or, or else you're racist. That's the way it is. Yeah, or else you're racist. That's the way it is. If you do anything and but that, everybody has a heart attack. you got to apologize. Especially the white people. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. But nobody will really admit it completely. Or they'll go, well, it's too bad. It's payback. You know, it's just a fact. Payback. Well, yeah. Well, there's, <laughs> a little, there's a little pushback happening with I'm just getting back on radio. I don't know. Some of those remarks he made were salty. <laughs> I heard one of those girls was scarred for life. Yes. And then I saw her iPod and I saw the playlist. <laughs> I noticed a couple of songs that might be a little saltier. <laughs> yeah, a little young cheesy exactly. number called "Take My 12 Gauge" and tear. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's so it's so pathetic that even they have these girls being phony and going, "I was caught." You know, did we? Yeah. we've talked about uh, the Yamis situation. I mean, off and on for what the last six months. And I even went down the road with Jimmy. I'm like, all right, let's try to see it the other way. Let's just sit here and try to see it the fucking other way. All right. So you got, Have in, an open you mind. got in at 10 o'clock that day instead of 6. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> wow. Great line. Great line. <laughs> Stupid me still trying to make my point. But oh, very good, Colin. <laughs> A cup of tea with eight sugars later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bravo. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so go ahead. I hope this you enjoyed is, the bounce pass. But this, is kind of inter- but this is interesting to see it the other way. I'm not I'm not even kidding, but go ahead. But, uh, mm. it, yeah, Jimmy and I, I think uh, we were in a cab on the way home. Like, let's just try to see it the other way. And it just still bothers me. I can't see it their way. Like, what so fucking I could not wrap my head around it at all. Like, even to play devil's advocate, I just could not. To get kicked off a radio it. show for saying nappy-headed hoe, it just <laughs> amazes me. It amazes yeah. but good me. Good thing is it though, doesn't amaze. Go ahead. Good thing is he got rehired, and the bottom line is it's a great fucking thing that he got rehired because people go, oh, so now we're gonna have to deal with him on the other side. It was a you know what it, mm-hmm. terrible move. To you know what he did him. in the end? He helped the Rutgers women's basketball team program because mm-hmm. there was an article a couple weeks ago that recruiting has never been better for that school because of what because of what I just said. He actually helped yep. their program. In the end, it was a, a massive positive thing. For the school and every single person that uh, was yep. on that team, including the coaches and the stupid mop lady. And all the, that fucking, mops the fucking floor after the, the game's over. And they got nice hats for all the girls so you can't see their hair. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I can't, You're I mean, I can't believe fired. it. This is what's been happening now, you know? This is the this is the this is a climate that's never discussed, but you know. Did you uh, is, see uh, the um, a few excerpts from the Pat Buchanan book? About uh, how I the mean, country come on, John. is this is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but that's your crowd. Oh, John! <laughs> how this, this, this country is just finished. Pretty much done as in one of the great empires of the of the earth. That is pretty much on the downswing. And uh, well, me and we'll philosopher Nick DiPaolo were talking about this yesterday. And Nick what Nick DiPaolo. DiPaolo actually said, which is true, is Pat Buchanan. One thing, whatever people think about him. He has hit the mark, and he's been the most predicted the most things in the past 20 years that were kind of happened yeah. in the country. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's definitely He says true. with the dollar at an all-time low, foreign countries looking to get off the whole dollar. They're, they're looking to pick up on the euro. Uh, uh, China uh, owning half of our country. Uh, the housing market just in the shitter. And then uh, the invasion from Mexico that's happening. But this sounds like one of those things where you like this. Ready? Yeah. I'd like to read something to you, Anthony. <laughs> Foreigners are invading our land. The economy's at an all-time low. Yeah. Yeah. There's crime everywhere. That was written in 1840. Oh, uh, yes, yes. And if you look, <laughs> that was written by Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, and we still went on to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right. But, um, yeah, no, but I do think there's... Well, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with the actual country, but it's like... That just the phoniness of what we're talking about, the lack of discussing anything, the triple double standards that yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah. But you know what? It's you not know? just white people anymore that are getting it, but black people don't get it from whites. They get shit from other minority groups. Like the Asian groups, because there's been black DJs fired, like Donnell Rollins got fired for something he said. There's been other black guys that get a lot of shit, but they never get it from white people because white people still feel paternalistic. They get it from fucking Asian groups who don't give a shit. And, and they deal with racism yeah. from blacks in the neighborhoods, having to fucking have them scream about more duck sauce and fucking the Korean delis. <laughs> yeah. They do. They deal with racism from blacks all the time. So they've yeah. had enough to hear. They don't give a shit. They don't feel, have I any feel guilt. I feel sorry for your mother. Yo, Jet Li. Yo, what you say? Yeah. Yo, Jet Li. But the only, the only people that don't <laughs> Jet call... Jet Li. Where you, where you <laughs> keep the... And the way you keep the cold beer, Poppy. <laughs> Joe Jet Li. <laughs> I was um, at the Gene Simmons roast. Carrot Top was one of the roasters. And, and I think Rizza from Wu-Tang was there. This is backstage. And he was trying to talk to Carrot Top. He goes, yo, Carrot Head. <laughs> it really made me laugh. <laughs> yo, Carrot Head. <laughs> Did Carrot Head uh, use any of those muscles of his? No, he was to just... fight back? Of course it, not. He was fucking funny on the road, so I'll tell you that one. Yeah. Top was... Yeah, he was really funny. Yeah, well, what am I saying? He was really cool on our show. Yeah. He was funny and nice. Yeah, he's great. All right, we're going to take a break. Colin Quinn in studio playing Gotham Comedy Club. Uh, an amazing comic. And, uh, yeah, an amazing depressed comic. He's he insightful. Is. That's the best uh, comedy I'll to say see, I'll say one thing about Opie. That son of a bitch has always come to see me. And Anthony actually showed up once, but he had to sit right behind my aunt, remember? Yes. <laughs> remember I badged Anthony because we always came, and then the, Anthony's in right behind my cousin. She's like, honey, isn't he the greatest? She's grabbing him the whole show. <laughs> That's cool. I fucked her. <laughs> I'm teasing, of course. Oh, I remember back in the I'm day te- when we met you for the first time, you are on the way to bet the horses. and oh, yeah, and and Every time we saw you after that was you betting horses. OTB. And, then and he was, worried, he was worried, worried about us giving the tip out because he didn't want the odds going down that day. Oh, remember? <laughs> 
And uh, yeah. You, you, know, well, you were like, oh, I got a great tip from my uncle or whatever my it was. Cousin Dylan. Cousin. And you were running to OTB. It was such a great tip. And you're like, fuck, I just told the biggest assholes in New York radio this I great put, tip. Yeah. And you were panicking that we were going to go on the air that day. The odds were going to drop. Your spot and make it a three to one on you. Life. But actually, they closed that OTB, too, you know. Why? Around the corner of your house? Why? Oh, no, Ninth Heaven is really booming, Jim. I mean, you should get up there <laughs> trying to invest. You're right there, bye. <laughs> Take a brief walk on a Sunday after Lincoln County, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> and then you're trying to drag us into that world with you. Come what on, do you come mean? on, you let's guys go. wanted to bet. I love that. Come on, let's, let's go. go. Let's bet. bet. That's so that's... these family bets the trotters, they'd probably go to the dog track. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Andrew we... like a highlight player. <laughs> we <laughs> like a best highlight player. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We did a gig at a dog track. <laughs> oh, dog yeah, track. we had One protesters. We had protesters that was outside. Great. Why? We were just trying to make an extra hundred bucks because ah, we were making Peter, no money you know, in radio. And on the weekend, we're like, could you guys do an appearance activist. at the dog track? We're like, yeah, whatever. How much? It was like $100, $200 each. We're like, cool, that's some nice drinking money, right? We show up, there's a massive protest going on with our names on the sign. We're like, Whoa. what the fuck? Yeah, what thanks. What did we do? Actually, Fuck. Jim's working a dog fight this weekend. <laughs> we just want to fork dog fighting association. No, that's New Year's Eve. It's an 8 o'clock right, show at the Old Westbury old. Music Fair. If you want tickets, you go to Ticketmaster tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Goes on sale. There you go. See? Hey, you. We just want to throw T-shirts out. You know, collect a couple hundred bucks, and we're dealing with fucking protesters. Protesters. Like, throwing shit at you our cars and stuff. You animal hater. <laughs> right. The dog. And they're showing, like, they have signs with pictures of greyhounds with big open wounds on them. And yeah, those are the dog track dogs. Dog track no, dogs are treated very healthy. Well. Is there any strategy it's to when they the can't dogs? run anymore? I think you have to speak to Cesar Milan. <laughs> he knows about that stuff. How could there possibly be strategy? They all look the same and they run the same. By the way, I saw the I dog uh, Cesar Milan last night. I watched an episode of Denise Richards. She looked pretty good. She was Denise Richards is a psycho. She didn't seem crazy on that dog show. She seemed she very normal. Is. Psycho, man. The shit I'm reading about her. Why? I got to piss. You Why gossip? Are you gossiping? Why is she a psycho? You're a little I want to hear, hear about this. Well, we can after the break. All right, since Jim Rudely interrupted us, I'm well, he, uh, he's got to piss too. That's why we're going to. I'm holding you my. Really is like Charlie a, Sheen. It's like having Lamada in the studio. Yeah, and a piss. <laughs> well, I do, <laughs> and you're like having Lamada in studio by looking at you <laughs> at the end of it. Hey, hey. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, a joke, uh, you know right. a joke certainly needs help when you have to add two endings to it by looking at it. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you this, Mister. The end of it. All right, fair enough. Kiss you forced me to make a comeback, Colin. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> And the horse you rode in on. We had you guys in a good place. And the whole cavalry I, behind you. I, I tried, Colin. I tried and they had it. her on tour where they all hated her. Emma, 48. 48. <laughs> all that bullshit, they all hated her. That's her intro. I thought it was Lulu. <laughs> no, Emma, 48. <laughs> she was on a big tour, they all hated her. <laughs> hey, I said, where's the toilet? He said, you're in it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Funny guy. So That's true. why I'm here. That's his comeback. Funny guy. That's why I'm here. <laughs> he was horrible. The greatest. No who said uh, he hasn't it. No who love said it. he hasn't watched uh, Raging Bull ever? I do kind of a friend uh, of the show. Real good friend of the show. Who? Um, let me think. Uh, Patrice Sonia. Patrice. Oh, he's oh, never yeah. seen it? Oh, he'd like it. He would. No. Patrice of course. He, would. he calls it one of those white guy movies that he's never seen. He's exactly very, uh, what it is. He knows white guy culture, though. But he's pretty... Uh, Wait, he's black pretty, guys wouldn't enjoy Raging Bull? Why not? Should because they their hate for white people is starting to overshadow all their normal behavior. <laughs> Just sheer hatred for white people overshadow any... That's why any... Patrice doesn't like Raging Bull. Yeah. Is there really, like, movies that uh, black guys like better than white guys? Besides... I, oh, I was going to say, oh, besides the obvious. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Like what, though? Like, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is Raging Bull seems like it's such a great movie that white, black, blue, who, who gives a fuck would watch they would like that fuck. movie. How's that? They give a fuck. And when I say they, I mean black guys who give a fuck. Is there black <laughs> movies that are, are, are really good that white guys refuse to watch? Yeah. Like what? That fucking Tyler Perry shit. I don't know one motherfucking but, white guy that no, would go no, see no. that but crap, that was, and it's grossing shit but that, every time. But that wasn't up for an Oscar. Let's go down that. Oscar. Raging Bull won. 
I mean, not that's, Best Picture. That right, was, but uh, that's what I'm saying. It was up for a million a awards. I'm talking about a movie that is was so obviously good by all the critics and all that, but blacks refuse to see it for whatever reason. I, I wonder if there's a black movie that white yeah, guys are the, like, uh, fuck that. What do you call this? The Irv Gotti Show on VH1. No, Ant's thinking. Ant's good at this shit. I'm just trying to think, like, you got something like way. Training Day, but that's not a black cast. Like, like Raging Bull is a white. Raging Bull's a white cast. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you're looking for a movie that was, like, Oscar worthy with a, a, a majority with a Malcolm X. Majority. A lot of white people probably okay. saw, but a lot more probably didn't see it than right. saw it, exactly. considering the fact it had Denzel Washington and it was as as high profile a film. Get on was. the bus. How about get on the bus? I ain't seen get on the bus. Let's get on the bus. That was Spike Lee's movie about the Million Man March. Oh, okay, that was get good, on the bus. Ozzy Davis. Shut up. It was good. I like. Oh, it. sorry. I thought I was calling for a second. Spike Lee is good. <laughs> you guys, Spike Lee is a fucking great director, like, man. He's a great. Okay, now I will say it. Yes, now what? Shut up. What? <laughs> no, he's a great director. Uh, you're shut God, up. you're so stupid. No, man, he's a great he director. He stinks. He's very good. He's good. All he's got is... But no, he's made two good movies his whole life. Which is what? Bus, which is what? I love getting on the bus, by the way. The one scene where he goes... They explained to Richard Bell how the white people in the civil rights movement really were not legitimate, and it didn't matter. No, no, no I'm not even talking about that. I'm not talking about his point of view. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't whoa. remember... Point of view is not part of a great director. What is he? Great camera angles? No, no, nothing. <laughs> no, Shut your mouth, I like Tony. his directing. I like his directing very point much. Point of view is not part of a directing. I thought it was the most important part. No, it's because his point of view is you shitty. That's fine. Go no, he can have a shitty point of view. <laughs> you have a shitty point of view. That's true, but <laughs> that's not true. He can have a shitty point of view. It doesn't mean he's a bad director. Oh, that's I silly. can't even discuss this with you. You really? You gonna tell me that he's not innovative? Like fucking? No, I uh, think he's a, a fucking film school fucking amateur. Is how innovative no. he is. Why? Because he he takes the dolly and pushes it on people's face. No, I actually don't like Go that. Go piss, you know nothing. That. No school I hate days that. when is they're fucking, walking the film and they're just, oh, they're floating through the air. I get hate that here, fucking. Bro. I, I, I like Spike. I like get him. I've always here. liked him. I've liked him fucking since get him out since when he played Mars Blackman. I liked the fucking the first one he did about Nola, darling. What the fuck was that movie called? She's, She's gotta, gotta have, it. have it. That was a fucking oh. uh, an invented. Please interesting get him movie. out. No, he's wrong. I'm not even gonna look at him. And these guys gonna like look each at other, you. By the way, I just so want to remind the listeners. listeners. Honestly, I don't like Jim right now. What he's talking. I have to like remind the listeners that Conquest and Jim really? Norton. I don't like, like Jim right other. now. I'm being very honest. He Believe it or not, because he doesn't like that. I, I like Spike. Are you, up for, are you up for a Spike Lee movie? I've never been. No. I met him once, and he was kind of douchey to me. Actually, I like Patrice O'Neill because Patrice O'Neill, Spike Lee was like. Saying, hey, man, give me a call. He's like, yeah, man, call my agent. And he, like, totally <laughs> sabotaged and Spike, himself and with Spike. Spike. <laughs> and exactly. and Spike, Spike, Spike called him personally. Because Spike liked Patrice. That's he why I love the guy Patrice. over and over. Yeah. And Patrice is so stupid. Spike is, like, he's trying to... He's not stupid. He's great because he's a sabotaging comedian. He's like, fuck you. Well, sabotaging, <laughs> yes. But Spike is like, look, I really want you to be on hold for this movie. And Patrice was, like, trying to go have a pilot season. And Spike just went... <sighs> All right, then. No. And Patrice wasn't him. trying to go off a of pilot he, was, he wanted oh. to be available, I think. Patrice oh. just doesn't like people trying to get cocky with him, and that's what's beautiful. And help him. Patrice doesn't like help and niceness. <laughs> well, I've got a couple more that are sitting right in this room. <laughs> you don't like help or niceness. I like help. <laughs> yeah, I like I, help. I hope he's going to get my password and fix my... Man, I'm gonna make you famous after your death. That's my new goal. Oh, Colin's very he's famous. Just, he's just uh, I'll he have is. my name on the book, though. That'd be cool. Colin, you walk down the streets of Manhattan <laughs> on a daily basis. How many people come up to? It's got to be a fuckload of people come up to you and say, "Colin, yeah, what hey, are you doing? Colin. What's going on? Yeah, what happened yeah. to you?" What? <laughs> oh my God! You, you are a freak. What happened to you? <laughs> Yeah, people go, what are, you, what are you up to, man? Why aren't you doing nothing? I didn't like, mean uh, that, stupid. I just meant because you got fat. <laughs> oh, I wasn't insulting your work. I insulting your <laughs> physical presence. God damn. I fucking love these guys. I, I think oh, I have to give I up. Fucking I fucking love these you, guys. Carl. I tried today, buddy. Let's say hi to Tony in Pittsburgh. Tony! Tony. Malcolm X was a very piss. good movie. What happened to the break? Tony. You like Malcolm X? Yeah, right. What happened to the piss? I don't know. Well, those are two good movies, Spike. I'm going to say do the right thing. I'm not one. talking to him but again I wanna... about the subject. This is, th this is true. I really might... Hold on. Well, yep. I want to move on here. This is true. Tony, Tony in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Okay. Hi. Look at that. Teddy, nice. maybe. All right, whatever. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. hey. Whatever. Hey, uh, fucking a white movie that black people love. Scarface. Yep. Yep. They love it. Scarface. They, love it. they really do. I, Great. Uh, Scarface just doesn't work anymore. Yeah, the it's blood the, is so the music and the, the sound is really bad. How about bad. the fucking montage? Take it to the limit. Take it yeah. to the limit. <laughs> awful montage. Yeah. The music's awful. The blood is awful. The spe All the special effects are awful. Yeah, the awful. sound yeah. of the gunfire is horrible. Is it bad? 
Yeah, really it's bad. It's really bad. You got to remix that movie or something. Now they're laying, eh? <laughs> My fucking manager knows that guy. He's like a piano player. Of he does. He's like a piano player. The what, guy who played Hector. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, David, the older oh, one. Oh, sorry. His name is Hector. He's like a fucking classical musician. The guy who played the fucking guy. We will paint him back in spades, Tommy. <laughs> the guy who fell on his fucking, his stupid, his fell on his own chainsaw, that silly yeah. goose. He called me I a like liar prank. Oh, yeah, Bell Bernstein. Ah, yeah. Right. All right, we can fix that. Yeah. yeah. Like, even after his shot, he's thinking, wait all right. Minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. can't kill a cop. When he fucking goes, uh, and we'd like to go to a uh, tooth, maybe you could throw it yeah. every month. Yeah, yeah, every month. <laughs> and we'd like to go uh, take the little lady to England. Two tickets, first class. <laughs> and getting... Smile more, Tony. Every day above ground is a good one. After, after Frank gets shot and the cop's sitting there just like, Hey, Tony, you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, goes, I told him. Don't make no sense oh, killing you. Fuck. <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah. There you Woo, go. Here it is. The montage. Nice. Oh. It's a montage. Montage. Nice. They're fucking dealing. Money's being counted. Yeah. Take it to the limit. Buying cars and tigers. Yeah. Great shit. The world shit. is yours. Yes. And he buys that fucking, what was she, Jewish? The one who played his Cuban <laughs> sister? <laughs> yeah. With that fucking poofy hairdo? Uh, no, fucking Gina, Sam Afro. Afro. No, it was Isabella Rossellini. Is that no, her? Wasn't. No, who no it's not. No, Anna Maria Alberghetti. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I don't mind that word. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, she was in some Wait, something else. I like I Michelle. Five. What was the name? Yes. What was the name? Th well, hold on. I'm gonna oh, confirm. Michelle right. Five was never better. She goes. And my kids. I don't know if there's a nanny. I guess. <laughs> who does this song? By the way, that voice sounded really familiar from every yeah. fucking movie that was in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like Survivor, but it's not Survivor. Well, who was it? Um, I'll forget. Yeah, well, Michelle Pfeiffer was fucking great. Figure now. The Paul Babylon Hope? Club again, Frank. <laughs> It what was. a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cunt. She did nothing but do coke and sleep all day, and she was criticizing where the guy wanted to go have a burger. Maybe the <laughs> catcher in your little league team. Yeah. Who wanted to kill me? He hasn't gotten a base hit all year. I should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Are we uh, ready for leaks? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Piss time. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio. Ah. Yes. It's the Opie and Anthony <laughs> Show with Colin Quinn, who's going to be at Gotham Comedy Club. Uh, starting tonight. We're up to Thursday, That's right. right? Tonight. Yeah. Fuck, I, I... Wow, where's the week going? I thought it was like Tuesday or Wednesday. Behind right? us. Yeah. But it was it Tuesday goes away. Wednesday the other day. Oh, it just go. was. Hey, a matter of days ago. Got to get me standing full of sleep like some of your guests. I heard Patrice and Boston. This asleep. week, now, now Jimmy was out uh, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I was in La La Land. Right. <laughs> That's what they call it, the old left coast. <laughs> uh, what? Louisiana? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then uh, we had our, our, our stand-ins, or sit-ins, whatever you want to call them. Uh, our hack-ins. Fat Bob Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, took up a couple of seats. And then Patrice came in and fell asleep. And then Rich came in yesterday and fell asleep. I got to tell you, though, something. You're trying to justify the fact that you fell asleep. I fell asleep I know what once. you're doing. Oh. Right here in this, in this chair. I know what he's trying. Here's what I did. Here's what I did. Let me, let me show you my biggest mistake. Okay. I did this. I put my feet up, put the mic here, and went like this, and I was <gasps> fucking exhausted. And then people are talking. The show's going on. And then I opened my eyes. Everyone was gone. And this gentle oh. music was playing. <laughs> this gentle, uh, like, music box they music. They all left me. That and, is great. and all the listeners heard was. <sighs> <laughs> and the music. Yeah, yeah, we stuck out, yeah. I was fucking like. And then I woke up like. Huh? What? And I didn't know where I was. And then when it hit, when it hit me that I'd fallen That's asleep the during the show. Ever heard. Oh, was I just like, oh my God, I fucking fell asleep during the show. That is a joke. And, and we had him on uh, Pal Talks, everybody on the internet. Yeah, everyone, so everyone on the internet got <laughs> it's screen capped. It's all over the place. That oh. is the funniest shit it ever. Was, yeah. It was horrific. There is something about this studio, I will say. The chairs, the blue lighting, the, the darkness. That is the, really funny. The, the chairs, lean back in that call. You'll feel, it's like, ah, uh, right? Oh, yeah. You could go right out in that. Oh, There's the music. Incredible. Here it is. Was it? This was the actual music that day. And and here's what they heard. Wait, not a snore, but just a like kind of heavy breathing. Right. 
That's so funny. Yeah. How long was he? Was he oh, Christ, that? 20 minutes? It was no. over 20. No. It was 20 fucking minutes. No. He will admit to 20, but it was a, it was a bit longer than 20. <laughs> it was Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy's about to go. Hey, no. hey yeah. really fast. I got to I got to get props to the do this. I got to get props yeah. uh, to the past. If you go to uh, Google, down, man, MySpace Voodoo is the number one search right now. Oh. See the power of the radio Thanks, show? Man. We made MySpace Voodoo the number one search on Google. This show's got power. It's volcanic. The activity, they're calling it volcanic. So there you go. <laughs> MySpace Voodoo. That's crazy. Oh. So how many So well, uh, how many people go to that? 250. <laughs> yeah, that's all it takes. Google's not a big uh, website yet. So. Nah, it's, no. it's, it's 250 bad. clicks, and it's number one, Colin. I wish I could have thought of some idea like that. Yeah, no, I'm starting something else called Giggle. It's like if you want to laugh on the net, you type in a concept and it finds funny things. And you throw a joke in when he jokes that matches it. Good. So go go with my American gangster. Uh, Maury's got missing kids. But they're not missing. I told you, no. Maury. That he one, the, not the father. The mother told, I told you, Maury. her how to get away from a kidnapper. Uh, whatever. Uh. Hey, we got a uh, another two girls, one cup reaction. I don't know if this is good, but Danny brought it in. It's a grandma watching that horrific video. See the grandma that one of the girls eating it? What? what? <laughs> oh, shit. You haven't seen Two Girls, One Cup yet? Oh, no. no. Oh, okay. All right. Roll them. You won't even phase them. I, really? I phase no. Two Girls for eating one cup of uh, Dude, soda? I this mean, is like an internet <laughs> sensation. It's Where a phenomenon in the non. Stop I only watch, I only watch the, uh, the saucy ones like, you know, that uh, bacon front of Britney stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. All right, here you go. Oh, Kyle. is that funny? And we like to tape it for the internet. So this is... I'm uh, still trying uh, to get Kim Kardashian, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, this is Two Girls, One Cup. camera for Colin. What is this nonsense? Well, hey. what do you see so far? It's oh, a, excuse I me. see an Indian girl and a, and a white girl, and they're pulling each other. One's pulling the top down. That's it. That's right. Exposing That's, her boobs. Just exposing the boobs. There you go. Nice, right, Colin? Yeah. Very nice, actually. All right. Hey, what? Oh, God. Why did it come out the Turn, turn. Why? <laughs> Why does it come out the texture of ice cream, though? That's the only amazing part. <laughs> see, that's why I think it's fake. Why aren't no, you turn watching? Around. Turn around. Colin, Colin you gotta watch. Why don't you just fucking be a man? <laughs> you know, Colin, you gotta Colin. watch. It's making me sick. You gotta watch. Colin. <laughs> Colin. He's it's, gonna be sick. Come on, you. He's Colin. gonna be fucking sick. You made us pause the tape. Now look at it. Look at it. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. We're only halfway drawn. done. Look I at it. I didn't think it would phase you. Well, no, Colin. Rookie. Look at that monitor so we can get your your pretty face on, <laughs> on camera. Right there. You got, there's a pail just in case it gets sick. Just a now just watch the rest of it. You have to watch. You I got know. you got past the worst part. Oh, yeah. It reminds you of yeah. yourself in the business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, roll them. All right. Okay. Oh God, no, watch it. Colin, watch. watch. What are you doing? Oh, what's what's your whole video? Colin, stop looking away. <laughs> You're ruining our radio show. We had to put pause again. <laughs> Colin, throw up. No, it's great. Oh, all right, all right, okay, here, look, we're gonna throw up. There you go. Look, she's puking the That's shit up. Normal. Now watch. This is this now is now she's, she's puking, puking shit into shit. the other girl's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she's puking <laughs> shit into the other girl's. Watch, girl. watch. This look is, at that one. That was a gem. <laughs> <laughs> she puked. Oh look, they're so hungry. The girls are so hungry, Carl. <laughs> Colin's got he can't get away from the it. The fucking the one girl ate the shit and then puked it into the girl's mouth. Oh, that's a great reaction. How many wow. People thrown up from I, watching I, it. I thought Bob you said Kelly he wasn't gonna be Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, really, really puked. That's that was a huh? disgusting thing. Right. Well with that we got a grandma that just watched uh well she watched the same video Colin just watched. Here it is. <laughs> what the hell? Get out of here, jockey. Where is it? Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> oh no, 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 I can't. <laughs> oh, she's thrown up. Oh, she's got that. Oh. You. Good grief! You need to talk to someone. Good oh, that's a. Oh, one second. Oh, I'm so. Oh, 
<laughs> What's the deal on that, Danny? Well, the clip ends with her running into the bathroom gagging. But uh, <laughs> it, check out the video. It's actually up on uh, collegehumor.com. Today. All right. What uh, is that video that we just saw? Yeah, that's, that's everywhere. That's everywhere. And then the reactions to it are getting put up all over everywhere, too. I mean, I've heard there's a lot of those videos. Oh, is that right her now? right there? But I can't watch it. Let's see old granny. You no, know, with yeah, this one, it. it's... I don't know. This one is taking off. I don't understand why some of this stuff uh, takes Re off. Reactions well, Robert to Robert Plant watching the video? Yeah. Why am I bothering to write my manifesto and put it out when this is the kind of shit that takes <laughs> look off? How <laughs> look how petrified her face is. <laughs> Holy shit, up. she can't figure it out. Oh, she wow. can't figure it out. That's a great reaction. Oh, my God. Oh, she looks like Dr. Zayas. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. <laughs> she looks like Imus. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Imus is there. This is what <laughs> Imus has been up to. It's a nappy headed ah, cup. <laughs> wow. Two girls, one cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, no, jerk. No. no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> How could you keep watching? I was going to... <laughs> <laughs> Who shows their grandmother this? Who doesn't? Uh, <laughs> hey, let's go to O-Town. Uh, Alex. Here's what you get for giving me a nickel for fucking my birthday. <laughs> Watch this shit-eating video in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> fucking caustic old cunt. You've been wrecking our lives for years. <laughs> yeah, fucking burden. Grab your chest and fall down the stairs already. <laughs> fucking fucking cash in on that stamp collection. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking sell your hummels. <laughs> So I can fucking sell those little fucking figurines, <laughs> make a few dollars, buy myself a good tranny. Oh. <laughs> Alex? Hey, what's up, Oney? How you guys doing? Hey. Alex, you're going to be late for school, son. <laughs> Alex? You guys need to go to twogirlsonecop.com and actually click on the one that says worst reaction ever. Dude, it's absolutely fucking hilarious. You can hear the chick, like, just, like, you, you can hear her heaving and shit in the background, and she actually throws up. It's really absolutely fucking hilarious, dude. And it's just a chick watching it? Yeah, she's she's watching it, but she sets up you know, she sets up the camera like the rest of the reaction videos, whatever. But uh dude, you can you you can hear her heaving and it's <laughs> it's just so fucking funny, dude. She puts her hand up in the middle of it and uh, it, it, you can tell it's real. You can tell it's very real. It's fucking great, dude. All right. Cool. What is that behind you? What are this they doing is, on this one? This is two girls, one finger. Put the fucking on all screens, all right, before I smack you in the face. Two girls, one Later, finger. Guys, all right, thanks, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what is that, diarrhea? No, it's well, puke. <laughs> I'm just using, uh... Yeah. It's called two girls, one finger. Oh, that's disgusting. What, um... They're Whoa. throwing up all over the place. Oh, they're kind of throwing up on the camera lens? You know oh, what you that? have here? Uh, uh, ha, ha, ha. The one girl is ah. shitting into the mouth of the other girl. But that's at least a big, solid one. But it's all broken so together. So what? So what? Those feel better in your mouth, believe me. <laughs> oh, God, look oh, at Oh, look, they're transferring they're it back. It. it looks like an eel going from cave to cave. <laughs> oh, I'm God. hiding. Oh, and then there's shitty spit all between. Oh, now, this uh, Asian girl is covered with shit. The duty was hiding in between, like, one mouth to the other. It was like... The duty. I'm going to hide here. I mean, the duty. The duty was playing hide and seek. It looked like a tool video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It looked like sober. So they were pushing me. Sober? Yeah, pushing yeah. it through the pipe. Right on, man. All right. Oh, MF facts. These are the best. Speaking of uh, internet sensations, we got uh, the cherry chocolate rain thing. This is ridiculous. Danny, you want to explain this one too? Oh, this Why is just a. This Dad. is an abomination. Danny didn't pull this one. Uh, <laughs> this is um, Tay Zande, the original artist of chocolate. Rain. Chocolate rain. That uh, guy. Yeah. Um, oh, selling goodness. out officially. He kind of had to, but he, this is the official moment where Tezon Day... Well, what else out. was he going to do with that dumb that's song? That's what I said. What yeah, that's, that's true. Like, it's like, wow, man, he just... He lost his fucking dignity that he had. I don't think he's going to be selling concert tickets as the chocolate rain guy. No. So. This is the only way that he could have went. What yeah. do you mean, Cherry? Oh, okay. He's endorse, endorsing, um, uh, uh, what, Cherry ch Cherry Chocolate Dr. Pepper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. something oh, yeah. like that. Let's take a listen to this. Uh. Ah, did you see that jerk? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. well, there you go. Barry from Pittsburgh. He lingers uh, longer. Tay learns the art of shoehorning lyrics. Yep. There you go. Yeah, fitting a, a few. Cherry chocolate rain. Cherry chocolate really. rain. 
Throwing that in there, huh? Ah, uh, let's go to Chicago. Joe, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. I actually vomited in my orange juice cup when Rich Voss was describing a girl shitting in another girl's, or vomiting shit into somebody's mouth. And I've heard you guys play that clip before, so it didn't bother me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's early in my stomach. Well, you know what? You're making me want to throw up by confusing me with Rich Voss. <laughs> oh, that was you? I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, stupid. All right. I still love your show at HBO, Jimmy. You're Thank you, buddy. I apologize for calling you stupid oh, and being defensive. I am stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, sir. That was heinous. Appreciate it. Up. All right. There you go. Shit. Very good. But, dummy. Oh, uh, yeah. Than's showing off his picture with... Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you won't be getting one of those. Uh, see it. With another Tay. one. Tay's now Sunday. that he's famous. Where'd, where'd you meet you him? Meet, where'd you meet fucking Drew Boogie? <laughs> 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 Uh, he did some corporate party that my girl was a part of. Corporate party. What did he do? Sing chocolate rain for an hour? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> right. It was, right. It was a thirty-minute set, and you, you've never seen a, a bigger sea of indifferent white faces until he actually got to uh, the big hit. Chocolate oh. rain. Did he close with it? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. And what other songs did he do? It. I don't know. It was. Oh. I don't know. I'm not familiar with his catalog. It Why not just, just do Chocolate Rain and then go home? Because uh, he's an artist. And what they all do? Do they all sing along when he would say Chocolate Rain? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh. I fucking, I hate whatever company she works for. <laughs> Unless it's, uh, I can't even say that. <laughs> Exploiter.com, I can't even say that. God damn it, I had a gem too. Uh, yeah, that is a good <laughs> one. Fat stomach, I can't stop eating. Get big stomach out of the way, I can't see the TV. <laughs> He's eating a hoagie. Lamada's sitting there eating a fucking hoagie. You fuck my wife. In his boxes with his shirt open. Eating a hoagie. That's the best part. Oh, that looks like something. Fucking Pesci's trying to fix the TV. That looks like something. It looks like nothing. It's fucking snow, and then Lamada hits it. He goes, that could be something. <laughs> no, it can't be. It's funny because it's just the misery of life. Yeah. Yeah. With their particular guy. <laughs> sitting there hoping something happens. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That, that 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 vomit video. Yeah. You know what I like to put under that? Hmm. We hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> and just show all, just write out the whole Constitution that was painstakingly put together under musket point in like the 1700s. As they're uh, As puking, watch, puking shit, shit into, into shit each other's mouths. watching it. Yeah. If you took that off the air, people would cry censorship. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> fucking world is finished. That's not an American thing. That video is Brazilian. <laughs> You're right, no. that's my point. Listen, guys, um, I'm going to come back in a few weeks when he goes to fucking night school. Hey, shithead, nothing to do with this country. You See, we're even our... outsourcing our fucking ridiculous shit-eating pornography. Yeah. I like that. We, it's like our torture. If we don't want to do it, just give them the fucking serious. That's the way it should be. We don't We don't want to eat shit. We'll have the Brazilians do it. Have a little duty sandwich. you film it. That really is <laughs> the most... It, 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 uh, oh, you're a fucking kid. You don't know living until you've had a fucking girl about to shit on your chest who promises she didn't use a suppository and then it ricochets off your chest and bounces on your bathroom floor and you realize this would be funny but no one would believe it <laughs> and then fucking and then warm cornmeal shit pours under your chest oh jesus why is it the solid ones are less disgusting it wasn't work. solid because solid so you ones said the first one ricocheted. i know everyone likes a fucking no that was the fucking suppository everyone so likes a super bowl a, a solid shit in their mouth it's something something about a solid shit standing up like a silo sticking out of your mouth you almost feel like you're blowing into a, a didgeridoo <laughs> <laughs> didgeridoo duty <laughs> <laughs> I know. I had to and go the, first grade on that one. And the most offensive part of it all is he has to bring a silo, so you see, like, the image of like, the Grant Wood American Gothic <laughs> <laughs> of a great country formed by God fearing Protestants and but no, slept six hours a day yeah. and up at dawn with a nice bit. Trust me, you're, you're, you're laying there on your back, you're like, uh -huh, and there's a fucking, you're looking at a tube of shit standing up and you're jerking you off. But the whole time, you're like, I know as soon as I come, I'm going to have the awful reality of a piece of shit being in my mouth. <laughs> Do you well, spit the shit out before you come so you're not well, totally Jim, freaked out? I wouldn't know. I'll have to oh. trust you because I'm certainly not going to experience it. Why do you have a tube? 
A tube. You said a tube in your mouth. No, I'm saying if you're looking at a log of shit that was solid, it looks like oh, a big it's, tube. It's a tube of a shit. Silo. I thought you might use a tube to make sure it didn't splatter in the wrong way. Uh, oh, no. Come on. That's rookie. That's, that's, that's rookie. Well, it's like using a condom. It's impossible. Be like a funnel shot of shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like your yeah. fucking... It's not a fucking fun fact. Wait, your asshole. <laughs> Maybe she can shit through a fucking Willy. A cookie cutter. Has Willy Wonka. my face. He's like Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Willy Wonka. <laughs> He's like Willy Wonka. <laughs> hey, kids. Here's the shit. <laughs> and, 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 and the big thing that shit in my mouth is there's a bunch of oop, doop a dee do do what went wrong with you? <laughs> Here's where we have the diarrhea shit in this room. <laughs> you should do a movie like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Only, Only shit. shit. The shit river. They could take the boat down. It's <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Fucking Augustus poop. Okay. <laughs> More shit jokes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, Unbelievable. Goodness. Fucking Charlie and his disgusting incest family. They just lay there with bed sores smelling. Oh, old people all sleeping, sleeping together. together. No. Touching the kid. You know you know they were touching the kid. Of course they were. They were like the fucking grandparents of Midnight Cowboy. <laughs> Here's a dollar, lover. Go see a movie. I've... The fucking grandmother and the cowboy. Woohoo! Partying with seven year old <laughs> John Voigt in the bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about, you know, Bobby Kelly told me he threw up on the show, but yeah. I just yeah. When didn't he? I clicked out when he, he goes, dude, I threw up, and he did. I was just like doing yeah. something else. Like, well, he kept rambling. I don't know what happened. Oh, the Bobby Kelly up. reaction's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. He's just, yeah. You think he was looking yeah. at exercise equipment? Yeah. <laughs> well, Colin's going to be at Gotham. Yes. Comedy Club starting tonight. We don't have a phone number because you don't uh, supply any of that for us. 212. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the best part I got. <laughs> <laughs> Just go from there. Just dial randomly. You might hit it. There's a manifesto laying around that needs to be organized. Organized. If you're Japanese German, but not the porn types, but an organized <laughs> Not the type, chicken like fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the scoot chicken. Yeah. Yeah, the scoot. And you seem happier. I am happier. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Yeah, Definitely. I was depressed the past couple of years, but I've been, uh, past few months, I've been all right. Good. Snap out of it. Pick I yourself up by your bootstraps. Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. All right, line of the day is brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. It's a football thing. Yeah, well, Fantasy footballers. Yeah. How many? Uh, Five runner-ups. Wow. I knew it. Holy Good shit. Christ. It's going to be all Never get out of here. Oh, Jim and I mean, Colin. Great. Uh, <laughs> free life scoring stats, bios, and news that will help you win big this season in fantasy football. It's Woo. BodogFantasy.net. Here is the first of many runner-up. Lines of the day. She looks like Kirby from you know the old Nintendo oh, wow. game. <laughs> <laughs> nice reference. She's a fatty, huh? Yeah, man. Like the typical. She looked like Tyrant man. from Resident Evil. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colin, there you go. That sounded happened? very sexy in that one. That was Seven. you. I did. That was one, you, Colin. One, one, one. That was all you. Another runner-up line of the day. This is MySpace comedy, Colin Quinn, and then it says stand-up slash as seen on TV. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> you're an awful product. You're yeah. selling on WPIX. You're a, you're a flow no, bee. That... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <you're>... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Right to the next one? It okay. seems like a long time ago, but it was only a couple hours. It does seem yeah. like a whole life. I guess to walk ago. over. It's a uh, another one. Runner up, right, 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 stand up. Everything. Yeah, but you got to find like some kind of angle. He talks about it. In, you, in, here's, in what, here's what Colin's book should be. It should be you. Here should be the photo. <laughs> should be you, like sitting in front of a computer with like a bunch of like papers piled up, and your hands in the air, like what the hell, folks? <laughs> and, and the book should be called Colin Quinn, and then it should be Colin after it, Hodgepodge. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just when that image was out of my head, now it's know, back in. Too. That horrible cover. With the fucking, the green turtleneck, oh. with the red Christmas colored D sweater vest. And like, don't, glasses and a light beard. You don't know how vividly I picture that. Really, I know. I Thank could God. totally see it. Hodgepodge. If Hodgepodge. Huh, what am I well, going to do? If I had that oh. image vividly, I'd probably kill myself. <laughs> I would jump You wouldn't grab it. the rail. <laughs> Here's another runner-up line of the day. We've talked about uh, the Yamis situation, I mean, off and on for, what, the last six months? And I even went down the road with Jimmy. I'm like, all right, let's try to see it the other way. Let's just sit here and try to see it the fucking other way. All right. So you got, Have in, an open you mind. got in at 10 o'clock that day instead of 6. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> Great line. Great line. Uh, Fucker. I was still trying to make my point. What an idiot I am. Uh, we have one more runner-up. All right, here's the last runner-up line of the day. Study at Montclair State. Mm -hmm. I have four classes left till I graduate. Yeah. And I ran away to Florida, and they came back. And Why did you I run away to Florida as an adult? 
Well, you rat so Rizzo. <laughs> 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 Can I, uh, that was very good, by the way. I, I just gotta, like, acknowledge an asshole. Someone who's not brave enough to use his real name, by the way. Colin on Howie. Shh, don't mention it. Shh, we're honest on this show. Ha ha, honest. Who gives a shit what? if Colin Quinn was on Howard Stern? If you know yeah, anything about this. What? Get out! You're, this, See, we you're an care. asshole, you fucking douche. Dude, he's our friend. You're an asshole. You obviously don't know this uh, radio show. We never cared about that crap. Exactly. What? Wouldn't that supposed to do both? <laughs> well, yeah, what, who cares? Colin, well, we, uh, we explained that <laughs> years ago that we don't play the same game Howard does. Howard actually does play that game and fucks Jesus. with people if they end up on our oh, show. Oh, he does? Yeah, so sorry about that. He never did it with me. That was the last time you were on his show. <laughs> no, but he does. I mean, not maybe not with everybody, but he definitely has played that game over the years. We've never played well, that game, you ass, me. and we've talked about it on our show. Yeah, we're honest. Don't ever bring that up. It's forbidden. Yeah. Verboten. There you go. Next time, use your, your real name, asshole. Here is your line of the day, thanks to BodogFantasy.net. By the way, light of the day. Yes, the day. very well. Light too. of the day. Light of the day. Good to do something. Fox Scott. I did examples of some great stuff, though. Who's your caddy? The Caveman series is terrific. Exactly. But I don't think that Jim's uh, answer is correct. Oh, oh. I'm not going to. My answer is not getting Commander McBrag with me. No. <laughs> and the best part of the line of the day, Jim didn't get it because he's too young. I didn't. Oh. I didn't. I'm just. I'm, good. I'm a youthful boy. Action packed. Sometimes I don't get things because I'm youthful. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank what Ken Ken Fresno. Ken Fresno. Ken, thank Fresno. Ken Fresno for stopping by today. And, and my girlfriend <laughs> Christabel San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to remind people that the way to end this year properly. Yes. Oh no! Don't let a promo. It's too much. On oh. New Year's Eve, you're pushing it too hard. Now stop. I have to. Tickets are on sale no! tomorrow. I've been gone all week. Usually he's oh. nine a.m. tomorrow. Usually he starts with a plug for his pal, just so he can, yeah, yeah, and then so he, he can do his own. Nice little segue, segue into his plug. Nicely segue into his own. But it's too many plugs. No, it's not. It's how stupid. about how about we just plug Colin? Um, yeah, how about we plug Colin? Up? Full of fucking dick. How about that? We get Colin. <laughs> How about that? Should have been the line of the week when he goes, but Bob Kelly's mouth with the black cock. What do you say? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fuck but him I in the my mouth. Elephant <laughs> tissue paper line was a damn good one too. Oh, that was good, good too. too. But fucking. Oh, good, but how many are we gonna Tracy. have for fuck's sake? Yeah. But fucking onion paper. If I'm really old, <laughs> and then I could have. Tickets on sale 9 a.m. tomorrow at Ticketmaster for New Year's Eve. In, uh, it's Westbury Music Fair, which is called the North Fork. Oh. Theater. Why do they call it that, Jimmy? I think because South Spoon was taken. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of wordplay humor. Who's and this work? is a different Who's hour than HBO, oh, by the way. You have an opening act? I will, yes. I say you go with a couple of zingers. What about Richie Voss? Uh, well, we both know he's open. Uh, <laughs> I, could, I could call Voss December 30th and he'd be available. <laughs> I mean, there's no rush to book Voss. If you, if you said you want to work a new year, he'll go, yeah, what days? I'm open the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, the, the number for Gotham for Colin Quinn is 212-367-9000. Another thing, I guess XM fucked up one of our fan sites and uh, got a lawyer involved, so they need a plug. XMRadioGold.com. What happened? They got a fucking cease and desist from uh, XM, I guess. Why? What so, and, so I guess they're now called Radio Gold Fan or Fans dot com. We'll sue you. Well, they're trying to start up a nice, uh, friendly, you know, fan site, and uh, XM kind of fucked them a little bit. <laughs> they well, actually to tried to shut them down. That's yeah, a they, good they one. Sent them a, I guess they sent them right. a letter. Well, Did they? From legal. Uh, we had nothing to do with that. Was so. it really them? Because sometimes uh, competing message boards will conjure up a fake cease and desist. <sighs> they spell uh, cease, S-E-A-S-E. -S -E. <laughs> Isn't that how it's spelled? No, it's spelled little cease and desist. But wait a minute. Uh, yeah. They just had to change the name of their board? Because yeah. if you go to XM Radio Gold... It redirects to that, Radio Gold. Oh, uh, it just redirects. So they're still okay, but... Uh, XM did get involved, so XMRadioGold.com is now RadioGoldFans.com. Oh, I don't know. They're trying the to get off the ground, so we're trying to help them out a little bit. The whole thing is just, it just drives you batty. Uh, I'm going to start a thing. 
Quadruple A, ColinQuinn.com. This is why I'm the first one in the phone book. <laughs> phone book. A A A no. A Colin Quinn. They don't even hand out phone books anymore. Phone book. The first one in the phone book. No one hey. uses phone books. I uh, actually, they still deliver phone books for some reason, and I, I'm one of those like asshole fucking homeowners that just leave it in the driveway. And it got all rained on, oh. and I ran it over 20 times, and like <laughs> all my Jewish neighbors have meticulously kept houses and everything. And I'm there with this like streak of paper and tire marks up my driveway. Phone books I finally picked it up was, the other day. But when I was a, when I was a kid, this cop on our block, we were talking to my friend, they were talking Serpico, just came out with little kids, and he goes, "Yeah, you know, yeah, I was in that precinct." We used to crack them into phone books. We wouldn't leave any marks, but it was never that bad. At least the guys with phone book. guys with the phone yeah. book. Yeah. yeah, that's good, because then it, you wouldn't leave any big bruises, yeah, and you could right, send right, them out right. maybe a broken rib or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Work them over. The old, old school. <laughs> All right, we're out, Colin. Thank you. Thanks, yes, guys. Yes, Colin Quinn, always a pleasure. You look good. You look good. It was Keep fun. It yeah. Keep it up. And come back. Jimmy Norton. Don't be a stranger. I'll come back with my manifesto. You know, like I said, I haven't come around a lot because I feel like, you know, what is there to talk about? How I was sitting in my house, you know, but now... Uh, and, then, and next time I see you out and about, I go, hey, you got to come on our show. Don't go, shut your fucking mouth. Mouth. You do that was a long time ago. Be, it's not. It's not going to help your career. Shut your mouth. Oh, be, shut your, shut your mouth. mouth. Just take it as as a real thing that I wanted you back on the show. Blind, Colin, can't people be nice to you? You're very defense. Why don't no, you shut I'm the not defensive. Love. I You're told you what happened a year and a half ago. I was Shut your mouth! I resented a year and a half ago. I told you this the last time I was on. When I was calling in kind of semi-regularly, yeah. and one day I called in and somebody goes, they're too busy, they can't get to you. Oh. With a phone call, Who I resented that. Who the fuck said that? I just got this last time we were on. And you took it personally? Maybe we really Why would I take it personally? I would, too. I to the there are the times show. we do that to get rid of people, I'll be honest. But I, yeah, I, I bet you, if, no, I bet you that there was whole, something going on. I was calling it. Yeah, what you had going on was... Bill Burr was in. He was thinking of putting a down payment on his little apartment. <laughs> oh, shit. There's some bullshit. Oh, so God why, damn. Would, why wouldn't you go to Colin, dis despite his little Abner tuft of hair sticking out the front? <laughs> little Abner. <laughs> I want to fucking cut your hair with a sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you gray, you short lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> but Collins had the Fucking same forehead since he was 22. Exactly. You lost it at 22. I'm take this abuse from Oxygen Network executive. <laughs> 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 You're one of those guys, you quickly start losing your hair, and then out of nowhere it stopped, and it's yeah, been the I same place. Yeah, I was when I was like 23. You're right. 23. That's exactly right. I, I remember you from remote it's control. never changed. <laughs> and then it just, that was it. Yeah. That was it. He'll tell you. Yeah. But, uh, He's yeah, so that's that. that. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on. Enough already. Enough already. <laughs> Perfect finish. Let's get the fuck get out of here. fuck out of here. And he said it with total passion. <laughs> oh, I meant it. <laughs> I know. Most of those have a nice ending. We don't. We, uh, ne we never. <laughs> that's like a said, good one. Obi's eating a banana like it's a cigar. And he goes, let's get the fuck out of here, Norton Belches. And you have your fucking sunglasses on like Dr. Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Doc Cock. <laughs> fucking creep. <laughs> oh, yes. Here comes fucking uh, thank Roland. You very oh, we, thank we you. decided, Roland, we decided. Uh, actually, Bob Kelly and I decided uh, from the back when you were walking down the street. By the way, in freezing cold weather, that fucking guy just wears a t shirt. Yeah, he doesn't he does. have a jacket. From the back, turn around. Turn around. From the back, he looks exactly like the warden from Midnight Express. He looks like he should have those two little fat kids leading him to school before he goes and beats some poor guy's feet. Billy eyes. <laughs> Billy. And then hopefully you'll get a big fucking wooden coat hanger to the back of your Paul neck. Kelly look, looks like you ever see uh, Miller's Crossing? Miller's, yeah. no. Miller's Crossing, yeah. It's the fucking greatest Sorry. of all time. Sorry. So. But he's like a mob guy and he smacks his kid. He's like a big, he has this little fat Italian kid. He hits him, the kid starts crying, goes, who hit you? Who hit you? And hugs him. <laughs> <laughs> you got your movie, Jimmy? I do, thank nice. you. Nice. We all have right. Guy Ritchie coming in tomorrow and Jason Statham. On uh, the, the, the uh, terrestrial side, so I wanted to promote their movie, but, but I didn't have a copy to watch myself. No, we can watch well, I mean, it. The way you, you obviously got an eye for directing, so I think. Was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's great to have you back, Jimmy Norton. Oh, yeah, you know, Welcome and it's back. good to be back, AC. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Program. Speaking program. of program, Poe. 
Get my cock. This is my truck. <laughs> I gotta fucking piss again. This big hmm? cock of mine holds a lot of urine. <laughs> what do we got, uh, then? Something? Oh, I thought you did. Do we? Tomorrow. What? Okay. Tomorrow what? Everything gets pushed off. The sun will come out. Come on, Jimmy. Tomorrow. That's right. You gotta lay in bed and die of cancer tomorrow. <laughs> Like Yule Brenner. <laughs> you won't be waking up tomorrow because you're a lot of cigarettes that you smoked yesterday. Now you're just a corpse. Oh, you used to be fun in the sun to talk to, but now you're shitting in your bed and your head is full of mush like Lyle Alzado. <laughs> oh, you're going to be dead by tomorrow. Who's this uh. fat cunt? On Jerry Springer. <laughs> Holy fuck. You know, someone's that fat in public, you should be able to just to stab them. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I always uh, see Jimmy dressed uh, in this kind of outfit. Like Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I, I would look kind of cute with a t-shirt with a suit. I'd look kind of sassy, like I was a fucking college guy. All right, Steve, we got anything to go over? No. We're, no. We're no. done, How come you didn't call me back? I called you. I wrote you. Okay. Well, I called you twice. You didn't call me back. I didn't. You called me once. I called you twice. More. <laughs> just, Not true. Just a little conversation. <laughs> That's right. Steve doesn't call people Why? back. Why shouldn't we just yeah. be on the Here's air? Here's how you end the show. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Ooh. See, here's the problem. Been, uh, no, we didn't like it. the world of business, when a guy like Steve got lippy with, I mean, a guy like Norton got lippy with a guy like Steve, you'd be able to fling him across the room. <laughs> Absolutely right true. Now. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the world of business anymore. now. You can't do that anymore. No. Too you can't bad. do that. All right. Why is nobody leaving? Gentlemen. Just point at that guy and we're out. Ooh. Just one guy point and we're out. Yeah. I'm going to piss. Okay, that's all we got to do. Good, good night, good boys. Point. All right. We'll see you tomorrow uh, at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you, but you got a point. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us. We are the Opie and Anthony Show, and we will see you tomorrow.